Welcome to the Fantasy Audiobook. Fantasy. The starting system automatically upgrades like crazy. Chapter 21. At this moment, a look of nostalgia and relief appeared on his face. The reason why we can meet here today can be said to be accidental or inevitable. I came out to meet you because I sense the familiar aura of Xuanyuan Divine Sword. As he said that, his tone turned cold, otherwise, I would have killed you with one sword. For those unscrupulous people who covet the Xuanyuan Divine Sword, I will kill them without mercy. After saying this, Emperor Xuanyuan looked at Lin Feng's eyes, his eyes suddenly lit up, and his expression, which had not changed even when Mount Tai collapsed before his eyes, became surprised, as if he had discovered something extraordinary. The next second, he suddenly showed a kind smile, little guy, do you want to get the Xuanyuan Divine Sword? Ah, hearing this, Lin Feng was a little confused. The character of Emperor Xuanyuan was really out of the ordinary. One second he was arrogant, but the next second he asked in a friendly manner if he wanted to get the Xuanyuan Divine Sword. Think about it. Lin Feng suddenly paused mid-sentence and hesitated for a moment, but as you just said, it depends on my own ability. I am only in the eighth level of transformation. Emperor Xuanyuan interrupted Lin Feng angrily, since you want it, then don't let your mother-in-law worry about it. Do you want to get something for nothing? His tone was a little impatient, just answer me, do you want to get the Xuanyuan Divine Sword? Lin Feng was a little dumbfounded. He felt like how could Emperor Xuanyuan be more interested in him than him? What does it mean? However, what Emperor Xuanyuan said is very reasonable. There is nothing in the world that comes without hard work. Lin Feng had a system during this period. He was simply getting something for nothing and had become dependent on it. This was not a good sign. If one day the system disappears, then he will still be the little shrimp with low strength. How can he fight against the strong? Thinking of this, Lin Feng broke out in a cold sweat. To strike, he needed to be strong. Regardless of whether he had a system or not, he should strengthen himself. Relying entirely on external forces was putting the cart before the horse. Now, the opportunity to obtain the Xuanyuan Divine Sword is right in front of us, and we can't let it go at any cost. Thinking of this, Lin Feng nodded decisively, I must get the Xuanyuan Divine Sword. Hearing this, Emperor Xuanyuan smiled loudly, okay, now you look like a man. At this time, it seemed as if a big stone had finally landed in his heart, and his whole person became radiant. He glanced at Lin Feng and said, come with me. Having said that, head towards the golden stairs first. Seeing Emperor Xuanyuan's sudden radiance, Lin Feng's heart skipped a beat, and for some reason he suddenly felt like he had fallen into a pit. However, he quickly dismissed this idea. After all, Emperor Xuanyuan was the great ancestor of mankind. How could he deceive a young boy like him? Afterwards, Lin Feng walked quickly towards the golden stairs. However, the moment Lin Feng stepped onto the stairs, a sudden change occurred. The entire space began to distort inexplicably, and countless images flashed past in front of his eyes. Then there was endless darkness. When the first ray of light appeared, Lin Feng instinctively raised his hand to block it, and only looked up after he got used to it. He found that he seemed to have entered another world, no, it was a huge square. The original golden stairs were gone, and Emperor Xuanyuan was gone. There is just an altar at the highest point of the square, and you can vaguely see something placed on it. Lin Feng subconsciously walked there. At this moment, Emperor Xuanyuan's voice suddenly came from the void, have you seen the altar at the highest point of the square? Lin Feng hurriedly replied, look, I saw it, but where is this? In this silent space, a voice suddenly appeared, which really startled him. To say that I am not afraid is a lie. Because everything here is out of his control, any uncertain or unknown existence will give people a feeling of fear, which is a human instinct. This is the place where the real Xuanyuan Divine Sword is buried. There is what you want on the altar. You only need to go over and pull out the Xuanyuan Divine Sword on the altar, and then you will truly be recognized by it. So simple, Lin Feng even suspected that he heard it wrong. This is the place where the most powerful sword is buried. How can there be no restrictions? This is not scientific at all. If it was really that simple, then the Xuanyuan Divine Sword would already be in someone else's possession, so why wait for him to get it? Since you think it's simple, that's the best thing. Emperor Xuanyuan's voice suddenly came, 
but I have to remind you, you only have one chance to draw the sword. If you don't succeed, you will never have the chance. His voice was very calm, as if he was explaining a trivial matter in life, without even a trace of ripples. However, Lin Feng suddenly felt that his whole body was not well. His face turned dark. This is clearly a trap. Who can guarantee that it can be pulled out in one go? But after all, Lin Feng was unwilling to give it a try. He gritted his teeth and said, Junior understands. After that, he strode toward the altar. After a while, Lin Feng walked to the altar. The whole process was surprisingly smooth. There were no traps. He had an unreal feeling. But, this is indeed the case. Lin Feng looked at the altar with some excitement. However, he soon frowned with a look of surprise on his face. This altar is too ordinary. There is no mystery or spiritual energy fluctuation as expected. It is just a square stone platform with a diameter of about 3 meters on a side and a height of about 1 meter. However, the material was a bit weird. It was an unknown black stone that looked dark and shiny. Lin Feng looked at it for a long time and couldn't figure out why. There is a concave stone hole in the center of the stone platform. There are many ancient runes around the stone hole. Occasionally, there is a faint golden light flowing in the runes, exuding a sharp aura and the legendary Xuanyuan Divine Sword was inserted into the stone hole together with the scabbard. There is no light flickering on the surface, nor is there any fluctuation of spiritual energy, not even a sharp aura. This sword has no bright spots in appearance, the hilt is pitch black, and the blade is thick and wide. It looks like an ordinary iron sword. Is this the Xuanyuan Divine Sword? The legendary top 10 immortal treasures of chaos? Lin Feng muttered, no matter how you looked at it, he felt that it was too unworthy of its name. That's right, Emperor Xuanyuan's tone showed extremely complicated emotions, and he sighed, back then, I relied on it to give mankind a home to live and work in peace and contentment, and to drive the extremely ferocious Julie tribe into the wilderness, land. Go on, since you have the opportunity to come here, no matter whether the final result is success or failure, you should do your best to accept its ultimate test. I believe in you and the choice of Xuanyuan Divine Sword. Good. Lin Feng had a firm look on his face, nodded sharply, and then looked up at Emperor Xuanyuan, his eyes filled with gratitude, thank you very much, old man, for your support. I can't thank you enough. In fact, Lin Feng knew that if he wanted to reach the altar, he would definitely have to go through many tests, and it would even be difficult to reach the sky. After all, there is no such thing as a gold ingot but he did not encounter any difficulties. This was not only because of the system, but also because of Emperor Xuanyuan. Emperor Xuanyuan is definitely letting his guard down. Although Lin Feng didn't know why Emperor Xuanyuan acted like this, he knew that Emperor Xuanyuan helped him, and Emperor Xuanyuan probably wanted him to really get the Xuanyuan Divine Sword. Naturally, he didn't want to disappoint Emperor Xuanyuan. But can he really get the approval of Xuanyuan Divine Sword? He doesn't know, but he will try his best. Furthermore, since the system allowed him to come in and accept the test of Xuanyuan Divine Sword, there must be a certain reason. Lin Feng thought that the chance was still very good. However, is things really as he expected? After gathering his mind, Lin Feng took a deep breath, slowly raised his feet, and approached the Xuanyuan Divine Sword step by step. Just three steps up the stairs. As long as you take three steps, you can touch the Xuanyuan Divine Sword. Lin Feng's eyes narrowed and he took a step forward. Oops, I'm going. As soon as he stepped on the first step, he exclaimed. His leg was bent and cracked, and he almost broke his leg. An incomparable feeling of heaviness suddenly came over him, and his whole body began to tremble. He felt like he was carrying a huge weight. No wonder everything is smooth sailing ahead. It turns out that the test is waiting here. He <laughs> he, even though he is just under pressure, he still wants to stop this sect leader. Lin Feng murmured a few words, and then he would circulate the spiritual energy in the Sea of Qi, bursting out the pressure of chaos to fight. But the next second he was dumbfounded. All the spiritual energy was gone, and the pressure of chaos seemed to have never existed before. Hiss. Lin Feng was shocked. He was about to ask what was going on with the system, but he suddenly found that the system was malfunctioning. No matter how he tried to communicate, there was no response. This, Lin Feng took a breath, what's going on? At this moment, 
he suddenly found that all his reliance was gone, and he immediately returned to before liberation. But no one answered him. Moreover, the overwhelming power has not only not diminished at all, but has intensified. At this moment, without aura and system, he found that he was completely like an ant. Oh, I don't believe it anymore. Without Butcher Zhang, we wouldn't be able to eat pork. This sect leader is confronting you today. Lin Feng shouted, parted his legs suddenly, bit his steel teeth, gathered his strength to withstand the overwhelming force, and took another step. Second step. At this moment, he couldn't help but bend his whole body. The pressure on the second step has exceeded his imagination. This is not a huge force, it is clearly a mountain pressing on the back. His heart skipped a beat, a feeling of suffocation suddenly arose, and a mouthful of blood spurted out. Big beads of sweat were pouring down on his forehead. He clenched his fists tightly, veins jumped on his face, and his facial features became distorted. However, Lin Feng did not give up. He forced down the blood that surged into his throat, and slowly raised his right foot while his bones were rattling. He wants to step onto the third step. He knew the current situation very well. He couldn't hold on for long. He had to reach the third step as soon as possible, otherwise he would really be crushed to death. At this moment, he found that the air around him suddenly became thicker, as if it was about to freeze him. The raised foot could not fall down. However, at this moment, he could clearly feel that the Xuanyuan Divine Sword on the altar was calling him. At this moment, Lin Feng was frozen in place. In his eyes, there was only that inconspicuous ancient sword in the whole world. Although Xuanyuan Divine Sword is the first offensive sword, it is not a killing sword, but a symbol of courage, wisdom, benevolence and justice. Xuanyuan Divine Sword embodies everything, that is, the brave is fearless. The benevolent is invincible. At this moment, Emperor Xuanyuan's words suddenly came. The benevolent are invincible. What is the benevolent and invincible? The brave man is fearless. What is the brave man who is fearless? Looking at the simple Xuanyuan divine sword motionlessly, Lin Feng frowned deeply and kept murmuring to himself as if he was stunned. The brave are fearless, the benevolent are invincible. Everyone knew the literal meaning of these eight characters, but at this moment Lin Feng didn't understand it at all. He only felt that these eight characters gave him a feeling as heavy as a mountain, as deep as an ocean, and seemed to contain all the truths in the world. Yes, the brave are fearless, the benevolent are invincible. Emperor Xuanyuan seemed to know what Lin Feng was thinking and said something loudly. Ignore everything in the outside world and use all your mind and heart to understand. Maybe you will be able to understand what it means to be brave and fearless, and then you will be able to take the last step on the ladder. And if you want to be recognized by Xuanyuan Divine Sword, then you have to open your mind and feel its true meaning. Then you will understand what it means to be invincible. At that time, you will be able to pull it out of the scabbard. As long as you pull out the sword, you will be the new master of Xuanyuan. He urged earnestly, with encouragement and blessing in his tone. Ignore everything, how to ignore everything? Lin Feng murmured softly. Now he is frozen and unable to move. He cannot be brave even if he wants to be brave. He wants to ignore it, but the mountain-like pressure is still gradually increasing. Suddenly, Lin Feng's eyes lit up and he seemed to have thought of something. He instantly withdrew all his strength and faced the overwhelming force of the mountain. To his surprise, the invisible and intangible pressure also disappeared at the same time. Moreover, the solidified body suddenly regained its freedom. Lin Feng easily stepped onto the third step and came to the Xuanyuan Divine Sword. Ha ha, that's it. Courage is not the courage of an ordinary man, nor is it the courage of an unparalleled man who can lift mountains and rivers. You can be called courageous if you stand tall and strong without any desire. Fearlessness is not only the courage to be shattered into pieces, but also the strong heart to laugh at it despite being overwhelmed by the mountains. With an extremely strong heart, you will naturally be unstoppable, and you will be able to stand up to mountains of swords and seas of fire. This is what makes a brave man fearless. Lin Feng smiled. At this moment, he clearly felt that his state of mind had undergone subtle changes. At the same time, Lin Feng also understood that Emperor Xuanyuan's words just now were meant to provide guidance, otherwise he would not have been able to comprehend the true meaning. Soon, Lin Feng calmed down and stared at the ancient sword in front of him solemnly. 
The thick and long sword hilt was covered with unknown runes, and the entire sword did not feel any energy fluctuations, which was worse than ordinary soldiers. But for some reason, Lin Fang's heart beat uncontrollably as he got closer to the sword. Perhaps it was because, as Emperor Xuanyuan said, he only had one chance, and success or failure depended on this. Lin Feng took a deep breath, gathered all his strength in his hands, and slowly approached and grasped the hilt of the sword. Boom! Before he could draw his sword, there was a roar and explosion in Lin Fang's mind. Immediately afterwards, Lin Feng felt a torrent of sharp energy rushing into his body along the hands holding the sword hilt. It instantly blended into his limbs, bones and flesh. At the same time, Lin Feng stared at the boss with an expression as if he had seen a ghost. Because he watched helplessly as the Xuanyuan divine sword in front of him just disappeared and disappeared out of thin air. Immediately afterwards, the altar was gone, the square was gone, and the entire space disappeared. Everything, like a dream, disappeared from his eyes out of thin air. At this moment, Lin Feng was dumbfounded. What the hell did this come from? At this moment, he felt an irresistible mysterious energy that directly pulled him into another world. Before Lin Feng could recover, an incredible scene appeared in front of him. It's a world full of lenses. On one side was bloody killing, with corpses strewn across the fields, like a hell on earth. On the other side, people are living and working in peace and contentment, the people are smiling, men are farming and women are weaving, and it is a prosperous scene. But this world is so real, and Lin Feng is just like a bystander, watching everything from God's perspective. He was confused for a moment. What does this mean? Is this the ultimate test of Xuanyuan Divine Sword? Isn't this too childish? Let yourself watch a movie. How do you feel? At this moment, a sudden voice sounded. Ah, Lin Feng was startled, and his heart was excited. He looked around and found that no one was there. Isn't it an auditory hallucination? Didn't you hear me asking you how you feel? The cold voice sounded again. You, who are you? Lin Feng asked with his heart pounding. I am the sword spirit of the Xuanyuan Divine Sword. If it weren't for my instructions, do you think that you, a humble person, would be able to come here unimpeded? There was a hint of pride in the cold voice. Lin Feng. No wonder Emperor Xuanyuan deliberately released the water. It turned out to be the meaning of Xuanyuan Divine Sword Sword Spirit. Xuanyuan Sword Spirit said, Answer my question, how do you feel about the scene in front of you? I hate brutal killings and long for peace and prosperity. Lin Feng directly stated what he was thinking, then his expression hardened and he changed the subject. But if it's for the latter, I don't mind killing. Xuanyuan Sword Spirit said, Very good, time is urgent, and there is no need for the subsequent test. Now that you have passed the state of mind test, go and accept the real Xuanyuan Divine Sword. Lin Feng. In a daze, in the battlefield of mountains of corpses and seas of blood, humans killed all the demons and demons, returned in triumph, accepted praise from all the people, and presented a scene of peace and prosperity. At this moment, the world here began to distort, and the sun, moon, stars, mountains, rivers, vegetation, etc. quickly merged. After a moment, the entire world turned into a golden sphere the size of a palm, flying over with a whoosh. Lin Feng felt his eyes blur, and there was a sharp sting at Baihui Point. Immediately afterwards, immense energy raged in his body, and severe pain spread through every nerve ending, like a thousand blades scraping bones. Ah, he couldn't help but scream in agony. At this moment, a overwhelming and domineering pressure came without warning. It was like a wave coming from all directions. At this moment, the vast energy in the body became more surging. Under the superposition of the inside and outside, Lin Feng instantly realized what it means to live worse than death. Within the body, the meridians were burst, and the flesh, blood, and cells were burst. Outside the body, the monstrous pressure was not just a matter of course. It had a substantial effect on the body, causing the bones to creak and the skin to burst. The terrifying and severe pain passed through the skin, meridians, bones, muscles, blood vessels, and finally reached the reflex area of the central system of the brain. Lin Feng felt that his nerve endings were trembling. As time goes by, both the vast energy in the body and the overwhelming pressure outside become more and more powerful. But Lin Feng did not give up. He gritted his teeth and held on with all his strength. 
However, the harder he held on, the stronger the pressure inside and outside his body became, and the more severe the pain he endured. Soon, Lin Feng's bones cracked and his robe was dyed red with blood. He couldn't hold on any longer. At this moment, he seemed to remember something, and a light lit up in his eyes. He simply gave up all resistance, simply opened his mind completely, and allowed internal and external pressure to continuously impact his body. The brave or fearless, the benevolent or invincible. At this moment, he had a deeper understanding. Lin Feng immersed all his thoughts in his mind and felt everything around him through his body. He was like an old monk in meditation, with a calm look on his face, and all the pain seemed to no longer affect him at this moment. At this moment, he suddenly discovered that the energy inside and outside his body was no longer an attacking force, but an integral part of the world. And he is also an integral part of this world. The two can absolutely coexist. As time goes by, Lin Feng's feelings changed again. At the beginning, his body was still ups and downs and rolling like a small boat under the impact of the surging energy and pressure. But now, he clearly felt that the rolling in the fluctuations had become slower, moving smoothly with the impact of energy, and had a certain pattern. It's like I'm completely integrated into them. No matter how they impact, my body can move accordingly. In this case, the vast energy and overwhelming pressure can no longer bring any harm to him, because he is now like a leaf of duckweed, changing with their changes. At the same time, if anyone is here, they will definitely be able to see that his body, which was originally covered in blood, has already glowed with a faint golden glow. However, Lin Feng's mind was completely immersed in this energy world, and he was completely unaware of the situation on the surface of his body. At the same time, inside Xuanyuan tomb, Emperor Xuanyuan appeared out of thin air, floating in midair, with a faint smile on his face. He looked at Lin Feng, a clay sculpture holding the Xuanyuan Divine Sword, and nodded slightly. At this moment, Lin Feng's body suddenly lit up with a faint golden light. Emperor Xuanyuan suddenly looked shocked, this, how is this possible? At the beginning of the fusion, the Xuanyuan Divine Sword released only the power of heaven and earth. This little guy is only at the level of a disciple, how can he possibly be able to fuse it? With me, nothing is impossible. As the words fell, a woman in white walked out of the void. She glanced at Lin Feng, who was in meditation, and then turned to Emperor Xuanyuan with a faint smile, your long-cherished wish will come true soon. What do you mean? Emperor Xuanyuan looked at the woman in white in confusion. Let's see what that is first. After saying that, the woman in white pointed at the top of Lin Feng's head. Emperor Xuanyuan looked in the direction, his eyes widened suddenly, his body trembled, and he lost his voice, sword heart. It turned out that at some point, a small golden sword appeared above Lin Feng's head, and it exuded a sharp aura that made the world tremble. The woman in white nodded slightly, yes, it's Kenshin. Emperor Xuanyuan suddenly realized, I see, I really didn't expect this little guy to be so lucky. The woman in white said, You have guarded Xuanyuan Divine Sword for 10,000 years. Now the real owner of Xuanyuan Divine Sword has appeared, and you are free. Hearing this, Emperor Xuanyuan sighed softly, with a complicated look in his deep eyes, how can it be so easy to let go of the long-cherished wish, the guarding, and the waiting for 10,000 years? After pondering for a moment, his gaze became deeper, this sword is a symbol of the resurgence of my human race. Now that it has a real owner, it will be born to show the power of my human race. How can I not witness it? Moreover, the Xuanyuan Divine Sword must have a combination of sword heart, sword spirit, and sword courage to exert its true power. I am willing to transform into sword courage to help me revive the human race. You, why are you doing this? The woman in white was stunned when she heard this, with a hint of unbearable expression on her face, do you know what it means to transform into a sword? Emperor Xuanyuan nodded, no longer conscious, no longer soul, completely fallen. As he spoke, a strong determination appeared on his face, but I have no regrets. I am happy to be in the prosperous age of human race. I am lucky in my lifetime. A look of respect rose on the pretty face of the woman in white, okay. I promise you. Before she finished speaking, she pointed at the Xuanyuan divine sword on the altar. Buzz. When the golden light pointed by the finger did not enter the sword body, the ancient sword body suddenly trembled violently, and thousands of golden lights swept out from the sword body. 
In an instant, the entire Xuanyuan tomb turned into a golden ocean, filled with sharp edges that eclipsed the world. The originally dark and simple scabbard now had a layer of gold seeping out, making the scabbard become radiant, like a butterfly emerging from a cocoon. The ancient runes on the thick and long sword hilt also turned into gold in an instant. The runes exuding a mysterious atmosphere, like elves dancing, quickly separated from the sword hilt and floated on the hilt. Around it, it automatically rotates around the hilt. At this moment, the small golden sword above Lin Feng's head let out a cheerful whistle, and then flew into the void, echoing the Xuanyuan divine sword. The next second, a dazzling golden light suddenly erupted from the small sword. This ray of light eclipsed the heavens and the earth, and even eclipsed the golden light emitted by the Xuanyuan Divine Sword. Soon, the small sword slowly moved towards Xuanyuan Divine Sword, but suddenly stopped when the two were an inch apart. At this moment, the two swords emitted a clear sword cry at the same time, and with a hiss, the two swords merged into one. Then, the golden light gradually disappeared. At this time, the woman in white suddenly laughed, her laughter full of excitement and joy. But, in the end, I actually choked up. Emperor Xuanyuan also laughed loudly, but his eyes were red and full of tears as he just laughed. He looked at Lin Feng and nodded happily, this little guy is a monster. With such low strength, he can enter the realm of unity between heaven, earth and man so quickly. I was far behind him back then. Hearing this, the woman in white rolled her eyes, are you comparable to him? As she said that, she raised her little head arrogantly and said, you only gave temporary orders back then, but he takes the initiative now. There is an essential difference between the two. After pondering slightly, she added, in terms of talent, he is much better than you. Emperor Xuanyuan, the woman in white said, this boy has a stubbornness that refuses to admit defeat. He can still make rational judgments when faced with desperate situations. His character is firm enough. He knows how to choose when faced with big issues. Overall, he is pretty good. At this point, she frowned slightly, it's just a bit stubborn, and I feel that his brain is a bit lacking. He still doesn't know who he is, which makes the sect very nervous. Quote. Seeing the dissatisfied look of the woman in white, Emperor Xuanyuan's mouth twitched fiercely, thinking that although this aunt was protective of the calf, her temper was a bit scary. He glanced at Lin Feng who was in trance, and couldn't help but smile happily when he thought of what the latter would encounter in the future. Actually, I think he is quite smart. He can understand what I say so quickly, and his brain is definitely good enough. His face straightened, and he couldn't hide his pride, moreover, with his humble strength, he was able to reach the realm of unity between man and nature. He was able to stand firm under such overwhelming pressure and fully integrate into that world. This shows that in addition to having enough courage and wisdom, he also has the willpower to remain calm and the understanding to reach the highest level. I'm afraid there is no one else at his age who can achieve this level of success. The woman in white didn't know what unhappy things had occurred to her. She glanced at Lin Feng who was in trance and said, in my opinion, he just doesn't have enough brains. At this point, she changed the subject, it's you. Emperor Xuanyuan smiled and shook his head, in the battle that year, I only left a remnant of my soul. If I can realize my wish at the last moment, this life is enough. As he said that, his face straightened, with some anticipation and excitement, and he slowly swept across the sword burial tomb, now that demons are rampant and the world is upside down, it's time for the Xuanyuan divine sword to show its edge. As soon as he finished speaking, Emperor Xuanyuan turned into a ray of light and disappeared into the Xuanyuan divine sword. Inside the Xuanyuan tomb, Lin Feng still stood there as a clay sculpture, maintaining the state of holding the huge hilt of the Xuanyuan divine sword with both hands. However, the golden light released from his body was exactly the same as the golden light emitted by Xuanyuan Divine Sword. As for the Xuanyuan Divine Sword, the hilt has completely turned golden. The golden runes floating in the air all stopped at this time, bursting out with sharper auras, and turned into real energy liquids. At this moment, Xuanyuan Divine Sword made a sword cry. Those mysterious spells in the state of energy liquid slowly fell down as if under command, and it was visible to the naked eye that they quickly melted into Lin Feng's body. Suddenly, his motionless body trembled violently. Then, his brows frowned tightly. At this moment, a small gash opened on his forehead, and a drop of golden blood spilled out, falling just on the long and thick hilt of the Xuanyuan Divine Sword. 
Almost at the same time, Lin Feng slowly opened his eyes, as if he had just woken up from a big dream, looking a little dazed. However, his eyes turned golden, and his two gazes were like real golden light. At this moment, he was filled with the aura of a king. He stood there like a monarch who ruled over all things, his golden eyes seemed to be overlooking all living beings. After the golden light disappeared from his eyes, Lin Feng's hands holding the hilt of the sword began to slowly pull it up. At the same time, a clear and high-pitched sword cry suddenly sounded. At the same time, whoosh, dazzling golden light burst out from the gap between the hilt and the sword body. Rumble. In an instant, the ground shook. The mysterious sword blade was slowly pulled out centimeter by centimeter, and the golden light that shot out became more and more powerful. At this moment, inside the Xuanyuan tomb, the originally bright sky suddenly darkened, and soon became invisible. The space solidified at this moment. The next second. In the pitch black sky, a golden sun suddenly rose. Immediately afterwards, the golden moon appeared and faced it from a distance. Then countless stars filled the sky. In the distance, majestic mountains rise from the ground, towering ancient trees are densely covered, Green vegetation covers the entire mountains, the sound of rushing water, the singing of birds and the fragrance of flowers. Let this originally silent world burst into life. Further away, there were people dressed in ancient costumes, laughing and chatting, women caring for their husbands and raising children, men working hard in farming and hunting, a prosperous scene. Seeing this scene, Lin Feng couldn't help but be stunned. He rubbed his eyes in disbelief. What the hell is this? Are you hallucinating? He lowered his head subconsciously, and his golden gaze, which was like a substance, locked onto the Xuanyuan Divine Sword. At this moment, Lin Feng's mind was in a state of shock, and he murmured to himself, on one side are the sun, moon and stars, on the other side are mountains, rivers and vegetation. Do you actually represent the same world? After a while, Lin Feng seemed to understand something, his eyes flashed, and he swung his hands upwards with force. Choke. Boom. The entire Xuanyuan tomb trembled, a Qingyu sword sound sounded, and the wide Xuanyuan divine sword was unsheathed. Holding the hilt of the sword tightly with both hands, Lin Feng's piercing eyes stared blankly at the sword in his hand, thinking a lot. At this time, all kinds of wonderful feelings came one after another. I have never seen the world. At this moment, a cold voice sounded. Lin Feng. He was frightened by the sudden sound. After regaining consciousness, he suddenly turned his head to look at the source of the sound and found that no one was there. You, why are you everywhere? Lin Feng recognized that the owner of this voice was the sword spirit who appeared in the camera world. Because I am invincible, I am everywhere. Lin Feng. Sword spirit said, the time has come for you to rise strongly. Her tone became serious, from now on, until your death, I will always protect you and accompany you to the top of the universe. You, Lin Feng was a little confused. Sword Spirit said, You have too many questions. Lin Feng. Just when Lin Feng was speechless, a feeling of blood connection with the Xuanyuan Divine Sword emerged spontaneously. He was stunned for a moment, then he understood something and laughed, I will protect you forever. Sword Spirit said, Who wants you to protect him forever? Don't disgrace the Xuanyuan Divine Sword. Lin Feng muttered, Aren't you the Xuanyuan Divine Sword? Before he finished speaking, a bit of golden light suddenly shot out from between his eyebrows and instantly melted into the scabbard of the Xuanyuan Divine Sword. Time. The shining golden scabbard flew out of the stone hole and became one with the sword body again. Whoosh. With a flash of light, the sword in his hand turned into a golden bolt and disappeared into Lin Feng's eyebrows. Rumble. At the same time, the ground beneath his feet suddenly shook violently. Lin Feng's eyelids twitched and he subconsciously looked down. I saw shocking cracks appearing in the square under my feet, spreading rapidly like a spider web. I'll take it, what do you mean? Lin Feng looked confused. Whoosh. At this moment, Lin Feng unexpectedly floated into the air with an uncontrollable sound, his feet supported by an invisible and mysterious force. Listening to the rumbling and loud noises one after another, watching the giant square collapse and disappear piece by piece, while mountains, rivers, life scenes, the sun, moon and stars in the sky flashed all around. It became brighter and brighter. Lin Feng was a little distracted for a moment. He felt like he was in a dream. Did he really get the strongest sword? 
Don't think that you won't be able to find the north once you get the Xuanyuan Divine Sword. The invisible sword spirit was furious when he saw Lin Fang's distraught look. Don't even think that if you get it, you can become the second Xuanyuan Emperor or become a peerless power. She hated the fact that iron cannot become steel. You have to remember that nothing in the world can be obtained without hard work. Even though the Xuanyuan Divine Sword is the most powerful sword, if you want to exert its power, you must first have enough strength to support it. Otherwise, you won't be able to activate it at all, and it will be no different from scrap metal. She added, Furthermore, you only obtained it with my help. Your strength does not meet the requirements at all. Even if you want to use a sword, it is impossible. Hearing this, Lin Feng was dumbfounded for a moment, with a black line on his face, then is there any difference between me getting it and not getting it? Is your IQ that pathetic? When the sword spirit heard this, he immediately became furious and angrily said, You can't control it now, but I didn't say you won't be able to control it in the future. When your strength reaches a certain level, you will naturally be able to use it. Her tone was a bit arrogant, moreover, the attack power released at that moment increased by dozens of times. It is not a problem to kill several high-level enemies. In this world, except for the Pengu Axe, which can barely be compared with it, any other divine weapons are nothing compared to it. Hearing this, Lin Feng nodded, I probably understand. In other words, although I can't exert my power, it is a good sword that can be used to chop melons and vegetables. Shut up. What's good? What's better? What do you understand? Hearing this, Sword Spirit almost couldn't help but rushed out of the void and slapped Lin Feng twice, angrily saying. You are really unreasonable. The Xuanyuan Divine Sword not only possesses the infinite power of the universe, but it is also the nemesis of all demons and ghosts. Even those ridiculously powerful demons can only take a detour when they see it, but you want to use it to chop melons. Cutting vegetables. Speaking of this, a strange smile suddenly appeared on her peerless face hidden in the void, but after all, you are its owner, and no one will stop you if you want to chop melons and vegetables. It's just that outsiders of this sort are very rare. Even venerable level powerful people will rob them to death. If they find out, I'm afraid your life will be over. Hearing this, Lin Feng's face turned dark, then I still don't want this Xuanyuan divine sword. This is so deceptive, it doesn't matter whether it can be used or not, it is still a hot potato. The most important thing is that if you are not careful, you will lose your life. He instantly understood that getting the Xuanyuan Divine Sword was not only not a good thing, but also bad luck. Although he has a system, since he came to the Xuanyuan Tomb, the system that was so vibrant before has completely disappeared. Even if he thinks about it, he knows that the system is no match for the Xuanyuan Divine Sword. This is obviously a living ancestor. Of course you can, and you can do it anytime. The Sword Spirit was surprisingly not angry this time, but spoke in a brisk tone, it's just that I have to remind you that it has recognized you as its master now. If you want to give it up, you can only do it by wiping its neck. As long as you die, it will naturally break away from you and automatically return to Xuanyuan tomb to wait for its next owner. The more he listened, the uglier Lin Feng's face became. In the end, he could only smile bitterly and said, then I will reluctantly accept it. What did you say? A bone-chilling voice suddenly came, and the whole space seemed to have fallen into an ice cave, can you say it again? I, feeling his body stiffen instantly, Lin Feng was a little confused for a moment. This didn't offend her. Why did he lose his temper for no reason? Difficulty can be described in four words, as for. Bang. Before he finished muttering, Lin Feng saw a bolt of golden lightning coming, and then he found himself in a cloud. Before he could react, he felt a sharp pain in his buttocks. You can't help but show me one more thing. Before he finished speaking, another golden light appeared in the void, and it was pointed at Lin Feng, tell me clearly, where did you force yourself to do something difficult? When did I ask you to do something difficult? No, 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 no embarrassment, absolutely no embarrassment. I'm very happy. Lin Feng, who couldn't move, changed his expression and smiled apologetically, Senior Sword Spirit, I was a little confused just now. It was all nonsense. Yes, what I really mean is that our Senior Sword Spirit must be so beautiful that it will make the whole world eclipse him, and he is so kind that he would shame the saint into hiding in the cracks of the earth. Shut up, you're glib, that's not a good thing. 
The sword spirit hiding in the void scolded, gave Lin Feng a blank look, a blush appeared on his pretty face like white jade, and murmured in a low voice, finally not yet. Lin Feng didn't hear her murmur, he touched his head with cold sweat, and thought to himself, this is obviously a living ancestor for himself. Fortunately, after the flattery, sword spirit didn't speak again, and Lin Feng secretly breathed a sigh of relief. However, he now also understands that this mysterious sword spirit is not only unfathomable in strength, but also has a changeable and moody personality, which is simply a contradiction. Until this moment, Lin Feng was still in a fog. He had no idea where he had offended her and made her so angry. However, he has made a decision in his heart that he will never provoke this woman in the future. She will do whatever she says. Even if she says the sun rises in the west, Lin Feng will give her a thumbs up. At this time, Sword Spirit suddenly said, It's time to leave Xuanyuan tomb. Leave. Lin Feng subconsciously took a look at his surroundings and found that the entire square was gone. He felt excited in his heart, Yes, yes, leave quickly. Sword Spirit said, Why are you so anxious? You are really as timid as a mouse. Lin Feng. Sword Spirit added, Since you have become the master of Xuanyuan Divine Sword, there are some things you should know. Her tone became serious, you need to remember that the true power of the Xuanyuan Divine Sword can only be exerted by relying on the sword moves it carries. There are nine sword moves in total, which are called the nine chaos moves. The power of each of the nine chaos styles is extremely overbearing. They should never be used lightly unless absolutely necessary. The condition for using the Xuanyuan Nine style is that it has enough energy, otherwise, the backlash will be life-threatening. Energy is not just aura as you know it, but also includes many other things. Now, I will pass on the nine movements to you. After saying that, a golden light appeared out of thin air, and then it swished into the center of Lin Feng's eyebrows. Boom, Lin Feng only felt a roar in his brain. The nine movements of chaos movement method had been completely integrated into his mind. It only took one thought to make it clear at a glance. Sword Spirit said, Let's go. As soon as he finished speaking, a golden gate appeared out of thin air. Before Lin Feng could react, he was hit by the golden horse and fell into the golden gate like a kite with its string broken. On the other side, the Divine Sword Sect is on Xuanyuan Peak. Xuanyuan Qingtian stared into the void, the aura emanating from his body rising steadily, and his solemn expression contained a cold murderous intention. In the void, the vortex formed by the thunderclouds became larger and larger, and more and more lightnings were swallowed up. The smell of destruction is getting more and more disturbing. In the distance, the handyman disciples Shang Feng, Yi Jingyun and Yi Zan all felt as if their scalps were numb. At this moment, the huge high-speed rotating vortex suddenly stopped. For a moment, the entire world was eerily quiet, and an extremely depressing aura spread rapidly. Boom! The thunder broke through the silence in an instant, the ground was moving, the sky was shaking, and everything was trembling. Click! A golden lightning bolt as thick as a bucket suddenly spit out from the huge vortex, roaring like a dragon with teeth and claws, and rushed towards Xuanyuan Qingtian. Fast, so fast that it ignores time and space. It was so fast that it caught people off guard, and it hit the top of their head without even taking a breath. At this moment, Yi Jingyun and Yi Zan on the side peak were trembling with fear, watching helplessly as Xuanyuan Qingtian was about to be struck by lightning. Right now, Xuanyuan Qingtian's phoenix eyes narrowed slightly, and he instantly held up a sword formula with his left hand. With a wave of his right hand, a golden sword sword suddenly appeared. Whoosh! A crack opened in the void. The golden sword directly hit the evil dragon's lightning, crushing it to pieces, and slashed towards the thunder vortex in the void like a rainbow. In an instant, the thunder vortex seemed to be irritated, and struck out another bolt of lightning, even more powerful than before, whizzing towards the golden sword. Rumble. The sword was shattered, lightning shattered, and terrifying airflow shock waves shook out. At this moment, Yi Jingyun and Yi Zan on the side peak were dumbfounded. They both raised their hands and rubbed their eyes. This senior is simply not a human being. He condensed his energy into a sword and chopped two lightning bolts, yet he himself is so calm and calm. That's thunder tribulation, the nemesis of the soul state. How did the senior do it? The sect master must have given me some incredible treasure, that must be it. In the final analysis, the sect leader is the most powerful. 
He is simply a role model for our generation. Yi Xuanru murmured, Who is this woman? She doesn't even need a weapon to resist thunder tribulation. It's unbelievable. But it's not impossible. After all, the sect leader is extremely powerful. Just give her some pointers and that's enough to fight the thunder tribulation. Alas, the lord of the sect is so powerful, I'm afraid I won't be able to match him even in my lifetime. Yi Jingyun murmured. On the other side, on Xuanyuan peak. Xuanyuan Qingtian did not relax because of smashing the lightning. Instead, his expression became more solemn, and his cold eyes stared into the void. And the vortex in the void not only did not disappear, but became more solid. The two seemed to be facing off to see who would reveal his flaws first and deliver the fatal blow. Extremely depressed, moved, the vortex rotated at high speed, and a bolt of lightning suddenly fell, first bombarding Xuanyuan Qingtian underground, and the thunder that followed was even more heart-pounding. The glorious power of heaven is coming. The second lightning strikes. The third bolt of lightning follows soon. Almost at the same time, Xuanyuan Qingtian tapped his toes, and his body rose up to a height of 100 meters. He closed his eyes tightly and let the strong wind blow. Just when the lightning was a hundred feet away from his head, Xuanyuan Qingtian seemed to feel something, and made a gesture of holding a sword with both hands, and slowly swung it forward. Boom! An extremely disturbing aura suddenly appeared. Immediately afterwards, Xuanyuan Qingtian disappeared out of thin air at a height of 100 meters. In the blink of an eye, a golden bolt cut through the void, rushing forward towards the first lightning that contained the brilliant power of heaven. Soon, the two met on a narrow road. The first lightning bolt was chopped into pieces like paper. The second lightning only lasted for three breaths and was also chopped into pieces. The third lightning lasted for a full quarter of an hour, and was finally chopped into pieces. And the invincible Pai Lian was shattered and disappeared into the void. At this time, Xuanyuan Qingtian, who disappeared out of thin air, also appeared at the same place, but his face was a little pale, and there was a trace of blood on the corner of his mouth. But the vortex in the void did not disappear, and suddenly began to rotate at high speed and swallow more lightning, and the aura became more terrifying. She glanced at the vortex in the void and said, Ha ha, you really think highly of me, and you actually lowered the ninth layer thunder tribulation. It's a pity that my strength recovery is too little, otherwise you will be wiped out with one sword. Xuanyuan Qingtian sighed, with a hint of sadness in his eyes, now that my spiritual energy is almost exhausted, I have also used my most powerful move. It is no longer possible to fight against the next three more powerful thunder tribulations. Could it be that my majestic Xuanyuan Qingtian is going to die here today? But I'm not willing to do so. I haven't killed my enemy yet, and I haven't asked that fool in person why he betrayed me. I can't die yet. Whispering, she turned her head and glanced at Nishan Peak, Sect leader Lin, it seems that I will never be able to repay your kindness. Xuanyuan Qingtian knew very well how terrifying the Thunder Tribulation was. It was not only infinitely powerful, but also unavoidable. Once killed by the Thunder Tribulation, his soul would be shattered and he would not even have the chance to be reincarnated. At this moment, the vortex stopped spinning. Xuanyuan Qingtian seemed to feel something. He raised his head and glanced with determination in his eyes, as the three strongest thunder tribulation finally coming. Boom, 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 three thunders sounded at the same time, the whole world trembled, and the terrifying Wang Wang power suddenly fell. Almost at the same time, three golden lightning flashes suddenly appeared, lighting up the entire world instantly. They were like three giant dragons with overwhelming momentum, roaring, and a fierce man rushed towards Xuanyuan Qingtian from the void, as if he wanted to tear her into pieces. Xuanyuan Qingtian, who was already injured, couldn't stop spitting out a mouthful of blood under the terrifying Wang Wang heavenly power. His breath instantly withered, and his body that stood proudly in the void could no longer hold on from falling. Close, closer, seeing that the three lightning dragons are about to hit Xuanyuan Qingtian. At this moment, the sky and the earth illuminated by lightning suddenly turned dark. At the same time, a terrifying edge swept through. At this moment, the whole world condensed. The thunder and lightning dragon was directly solidified. Buzz. At this moment, a clear sword sound resounded throughout the world. How dare you bully me, the elder of the divine sword sect? A familiar voice followed the sound of the sword. Before he finished speaking, a golden scorching sun lit up in the pitch black sky. 
The golden light was overwhelming, covering up the light of lightning in an instant. Everything in the world solidified at this moment. Immediately afterwards, a golden full moon rose into the sky, and countless golden stars filled the vast void. Mountains, rivers, vegetation, rivers, oceans, and billions of creatures appeared one by one. At this moment, Xuanyuan Qingtian, who was frozen in the void, suddenly widened his eyes, looking at the strange phenomenon in the sky in disbelief, and murmured, This, how is this possible? On the side peak, Yi Jingyan and Yi Zan were stunned and had no idea what was happening. At this moment, a hundred-foot-long golden simple giant sword was suspended in the air for an instant. The light emitted by the giant sword was condensed and never dispersed, and it instantly turned into an energy giant sword and slowly slashed towards three thunder tribulations. At the same time, a breath of benevolence and saints filled the world. At this time, Xuanyuan was in the sky, Yi Jingyun and Yi Zan both felt difficulty breathing and their heartbeats were beating like drums. Soon, an incredible scene appeared. The energy giant sword pierced the three thunder tribulations like a beast. No, to be precise, it crushed them. The three thunder tribulations were directly crushed. Yi Jingyun and Yi Zan on the side peak suddenly opened their eyes, and their hearts were filled with huge waves. This, what kind of sword is this? What kind of sword skill is this? Just the light of the sword killed three thunder tribulations and vanished into thin air. The sect leader is really not a human being. You know, even the extremely powerful thunder tribulation, almost no one can resist it. At least 99% of martial artists will try their best to prepare a lot of defensive magic weapons before the transcending tribulation, hoping to survive, but even so, many people still cannot escape the end of their lives. They recognized Lin Feng's voice. Xuanyuan Qingtian destroyed the six thunder tribulations, which was shocking enough for them. Unexpectedly, the master of Dao sect didn't show his face, and with a single sword light, he killed the strongest thunder tribulation that even Xuanyuan Qingtian couldn't compete with. This was completely beyond their cognition, and they unanimously concluded that the leader is not a human being, but a god. As for Xuanyuan Qingtian, although he was also shocked, he was more surprised and puzzled. At this moment, a majestic shout sounded, the first of the nine movements of chaos, the combination of heaven and man to kill. As soon as the words were spoken, the golden sword suddenly burst into golden light, and all the simple lines on it suddenly came to life. The sun, moon and stars on one side of the sword suddenly lit up, and the mountains, rivers and vegetation on the other side also instantly exuded vitality. Next second, the entire golden giant sword disappeared into thin air. It seemed to merge into the whole world, leaving only a dazzling golden tail, rushing towards the huge thundercloud vortex in the void. Wherever the golden bolt passed, everything turned into nothingness. Yi Jingyun and Yi Zan were immediately stunned. The terrifying sharpness emitted by the sword made their bodies stiffen instantly. They could only stare dumbly as the unrivaled sword slashed towards the thunder whirlpool. Passed through, flying over, stabbed, beheaded. Even though they stared at the golden giant sword without blinking, they could not clearly see its trajectory. Although where the golden horse passed, there was no majestic roar, nor the vast surging force of heaven and earth, only that golden brilliance, quietly and slowly crushing towards the thunder vortex. However, the giant sword was instantly penetrated by the extremely domineering thunder vortex, making it as vulnerable as paper. The next second, a more terrifying scene appeared. The huge thunder vortex shrunk rapidly, visible to the naked eye, and dissipated directly into nothing in a few breaths, leaving not even a trace. All the strange phenomena between heaven and earth disappeared, and Lin Feng appeared in the void in a flash, holding Xuanyuan Qingtian's slim waist with one hand, and the two floated down. The handyman disciple Shang Feng. Oh my god, the lord of the sect is worthy of being the lord of the sect. If you don't take action, you will already be terrifying with one strike. You are such a man. He can cut thunder with his sword and hold a beauty in his arms. I don't know when I will reach the realm of the sect leader. Yi Zan couldn't help sighing. Junior brother, you must be dreaming. Hurry up and find a bucket of cold water to wake up. Have you reached the level of a sect leader? You are not afraid of speaking too loudly and a thunderbolt will strike you to death. What kind of person is the lord of the sect? Is it something we can estimate? Yi Jingyun looked at Yi Zan like a fool. Yi Zan. On Xuanyuan peak. Are you okay? 
I was delayed for a while and almost came late. Lin Feng asked. At the same time, he sighed in his heart. Fortunately, the time inside Xuanyuan tomb is different from that outside, otherwise we would be gone after finally recruiting an elder. And the system is also very powerful. After getting the real Xuanyuan divine sword, I directly performed a killing of heaven and man. Otherwise, even if I catch up, I won't be able to save people. At this time, he no longer felt that the system was cheating people. Lin Feng was shocked by the power of the sword just now. It was too overbearing. It's nothing serious. It's just that the spiritual energy consumption was too huge and I'm a little weak. Feeling the strong arms around his waist, Xuanyuan Qingtian's face turned red and he whispered back. This was the first time in thousands of years that she had been approached by a man, but she did not feel repulsion in her heart. On the contrary, she still had an indescribable feeling, especially the sense of being protected, which made her feel a little nervous. Silk obsession. Xuanyuan Qingtian thought, I'm so embarrassed. How did I become like this? In fact, this was Lin Feng's first time hugging a woman, and she was so stunning. He was also blushing a little, and his heartbeat was uncontrollably accelerating. The faint fragrance lingering in his nose, that warm and soft jade body, and the wonderful touch from his arms, how could a division-level sect leader like him endure it? His nose would die. Xuanyuan Qingtian clearly felt that Lin Feng's breathing was getting heavier, and he panicked. He quickly turned to one side and said, The sword you struck earlier was very similar to the sword I remembered. I didn't expect it to be so powerful. No wonder I have been I can't understand it clearly. Lin Feng smiled awkwardly, actually, that sword move was just the most basic move, and I only exerted one-tenth of its power, which is not worth mentioning. Just the most basic sword. Is it just one-tenth of the power? Is there anything so shocking to people? Why don't you go to heaven? Hearing this, Xuanyuan Qingtian's face changed, his whole body felt bad, and he started to curse. At this moment, she became more convinced in her mind, the sect master was definitely the reincarnation of a powerful saint. At the same time, she was also envious and thought it would be great if she could learn it too. Soon, the two landed safely, and Xuanyuan Qingtian immediately left Lin Feng's arms. Lin Feng, is this sect leader a jackal, tiger or leopard? At this moment, the system's voice rang in his mind, ding. Feeling the master's destiny's ambition and the master's adoration for the master, the system was very pleased and took the initiative to offer a lucky gift package. Ding. Congratulations on sharing your life with the right girl. Ding. Congratulations on your contribution from the sect disciples. Lin Feng was a little confused. System. Ding. The master has obtained the Xuanyuan Divine Sword, which means that the destined one has obtained the Xuanyuan Divine Sword. The master has obtained the nine forms of chaos, which means that the destined one has obtained the nine forms of chaos. Lin Feng's face turned dark, your uncle's system, after working on it for so long, I'm like a wedding dress. System. Ding. The system is not your uncle, the master is too narrow-minded. Lin Feng. System. Ding. Although it is shared, the owner takes the initiative, and there are many benefits. Lin Feng said angrily, what's the benefit? System. Ding. The results of the destined girl's cultivation will be applied to the master. Once the right girl learns the nine styles of chaos, the master will also learn the nine styles of chaos. But if the master learns the nine styles of chaos, the right girl will not be able to enjoy the results. The master gave the Xuanyuan divine sword to the right girl. It only takes one thought to take it back. The right girl can't resist. As for the disciples of the sect, they can only contribute purely to you. Hearing these words, Lin Feng felt very good. This was like someone else was helping him to practice, which was not a good idea. He no longer paid attention to the system and turned his attention to Xuanyuan Qingtian, who was neither leaving nor staying. Um, Qingtian, I see you are also practicing swordsmanship. I wonder if you are interested in the swordsmanship I just performed. Ah, Xuanyuan Qingtian was a little confused and looked at Lin Feng in disbelief, what do you mean? That's what you think. Lin Feng smiled, I'm going to teach you a set of sword skills. The sword I just used is the least powerful one among them. What do you think? Xuanyuan Qingtian's big black and white eyes suddenly widened, are you serious? Lin Feng nodded, of course, this sect leader never tells lies. 
Xuanyuan Qingtian was so excited that his face turned red, and he hurriedly said, I am willing, I am so willing. As she said this, she was so excited that she bowed and thanked Lin Fang. Lin Fang hurriedly stepped forward to support her and said with a smile, Isn't it just a set of sword skills? Why is it necessary to be so generous? Don't just salute others all the time in the future. As he spoke, he pointed out, and a ray of golden light flew out and disappeared into Xuanyuan Qingtian's eyebrows in the blink of an eye. Boom! Xuanyuan Qingtian felt a roar in his head, and the words, Nine Styles of Chaos, floated in his mind. Then a sword sound sounded, and the four big words turned into golden light and disappeared. A sharp pain-like needle prick suddenly came, and she couldn't help but staggered, and suddenly fell into Lin Feng's arms. That crystal clear jade skin exuded a faint fragrance, that looming snow white color, that slightly panting breath, that occasional sound. It's over, it's over. Lin Feng could no longer remain calm and subconsciously raised his hands. Fellow Taoists, please wait online. This sect leader is very anxious. Do you think we should hug or hug? Mainly because I want to carry the banner, I cannot blame the sect leader. In the end, the balance of reason favored the honest body, and Lin Feng lowered his raised hands. Tisk tisk, this sect leader has to admit, the feel. Oh my god, don't look at anything that's not polite, don't look at anything that's not polite. Yi Zan and Yi Jingyan, who ran over from the side peak in a hurry, were dumbfounded when they saw the scene in front of them. Yi Jingyan, who was the first to react, exclaimed, then covered his eyes, turned around and ran away. It's broken, it's broken, it ruins the good deeds of the sect leader. After reacting, Yi Shuangui screamed, and the little boy jumped up and down and disappeared. Lin Feng. At this moment, there was a movement in his arms, and Lin Feng looked subconsciously. He didn't know when Xuanyuan Qingtian woke up, and was looking at him unblinkingly, with a pair of big black and white eyes full of confusion. For a moment, the two of them stared at each other. Ah, Xuanyuan Qingtian screamed, you, you still don't take your hands away. Ah, Lin Feng only felt pain in his eardrums and instinctively grasped his hands. Ha, huh, why is it soft yet hard? He subconsciously took a look. Oh my god, why are the two headlights covered? Lin Feng was embarrassed and smiled, I, this. Without any time to say more, he let go of Xuanyuan Qingtian and took three steps back, this is actually a misunderstanding. The main reason is that you are too beautiful. It's an instinctive reaction. Shut up. Don't mention this again. Xuanyuan Qingtian's face was filled with anger. She was really angry. It was wrong to be beautiful. It was so unreasonable. The more she thought about it, the angrier she became. She glared at Lin Feng fiercely, turned around and ran towards the room. Qingtian, wait, wait. Lin Feng smacked his mouth hard, wondering what he was saying, and quickly chased after him, with a smile on his face, I still have something. I want to give it to you. It's not surprising. Xuanyuan Qingqing stared at Lin Feng, get out of the way. No, with that said, Lin Feng grabbed Xuanyuan Qingtian's little hand, summoned the Xuanyuan Divine Sword and put it in her hand, this is the Xuanyuan Divine Sword matching the Nine Styles of Chaos. The combination of the two is infinitely powerful. Take it. All right. After saying that, Lin Feng immediately turned around and left quickly without hesitation. Yu, Xuanyuan Qingtian couldn't react for a moment, and shouted while looking at Lin Feng's disappearing back. Then the corner of her mouth curved into a smile, and the flowers around her suddenly turned pale. After a while, Xuanyuan Qingtian looked at the golden ancient sword in his hand, then reached out and touched it gently a few times. Nishan Peak, the secret training room of the sect leader. Lin Feng sat cross-legged on the Bodhi meditation futon and slowly punched out. A sharp sonic boom sounded, and a ball of energy punch came out of his hand and passed through the void silently. This boxing technique was the savage divine fist given to Yi Jingyan by Lin Feng. Just as the system said, the martial arts and magic weapons he gave to his sect disciples can be extracted with just a thought. Therefore, when Yi Jingyan succeeds in cultivation, it means that he has succeeded in cultivation, and this is the case for all his subsequent disciples. I believe it won't be long before the Divine Sword sect will rise strongly. I have to say, this feeling of watching your disciples become stronger one by one, and the sect becoming stronger step by step, is really refreshing. Lin Feng sighed with emotion, 
then put aside the distracting thoughts in his mind and started practicing the art of heavenly secrets with all his heart. As for the divine art of heaven and earth, he felt that he had reached a bottleneck and that forcing him to practice it would be harmful and useless. He is currently only at the eighth level of transformation, which is an intermediate level of chi refining. He still has a long way to go before becoming a strong person. As the sect becomes stronger and stronger, it will inevitably alarm other forces, which means that the opponents it will face in the future will become stronger and stronger. Although he has a very good system, everything is based on strength. In Xuanyuan tomb, he had a profound experience. Therefore, Lin Feng did not dare to slack off at all. Yanwang Kingdom, Qingzhou Holy Land Qingzhou Holy Land is a famous sword cultivating sect in the Yanwang Kingdom. It has been passed down for tens of thousands of years. Not only is its swordsmanship unique, but its forging technology is also top-notch. There are many strong men and countless elites in the sect. Countless martial artists want to get the sword forged in Qingzhou Holy Land. Countless proud men of heaven want to worship in Qingzhou Holy Land. At this moment, the Holy Land, the Holy Lord's Hall. A woman wearing a golden robe, with a cold and delicate face, and extraordinary momentum was standing at the door of the hall. Suddenly, the woman's bumpy body trembled suddenly, her complexion changed drastically, and a look of horror suddenly erupted in her eyes. An unparalleled domineering and sharp aura swept out of her body. The space beside her was twisted and deformed by this aura, and soon the space couldn't bear it and several black cracks opened. The hall trembled violently, even the entire Qingcho Holy Land trembled. So powerful, this is simply impossible. Back then, I saw with my own eyes that her soul was shattered. Why did I sense the breath of my master today? It's been three thousand years. Did I sense it wrong? Or is it a similar breath from others? The woman in the robe frowned, and her eyes shone with a cold light, no, I have to discuss it with him. Then he disappeared in a flash. Time flies by like a white horse, and half a month flies by in a blink of an eye. Piao Miao Peak, Divine Sword Sect. Lin Feng has been practicing in seclusion. His realm has also successfully broken through from the beginning to the peak of the 8th level transformation realm. With only a slight chance, he can break through to the 9th level pill formation realm in one fell swoop and become a veritable advanced god refining expert. Ding! The system senses that the master's strength has improved, and is very excited. It can't wait to present the master with a promotion gift package. Ding! Congratulations on getting the Saint Grade Magic Weapon, Celestial Star Chart. Ding! Congratulations on getting Chenkin Yiki Fist. Ding! Congratulations on acquiring Shenfa, Skyfall to 90,000 miles. Ding! Congratulations on acquiring the Sword Skill, Nine Meridians Divine Sword. Ding! Congratulations on getting the Fingering Technique, Meteor Finger. Ding! Congratulations on obtaining the Skill, Dragon Elephant Technique. Quote dot 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 quote. Hearing the voice of the system in his mind, Lin Feng's lips curved into a smile. He was relieved that the system was so considerate. He stood up, put away the Bodhi Meditation Futon, and reached the top of Nishan Peak in a flash, overlooking the entire Divine Sword sect. Lin Feng nodded slightly, then waved his hand. Boom! Stars appear in the sky out of thin air, like dreams and illusions, and are extremely magical. You can even see twinkling stars, moving on their own according to mysterious trajectories, and the breath of the Holy God is blowing towards your face. It seems to form a huge Milky Way. At this time, Xuanyuan Qingtian from Xuanyuan Peak and Yi Jingyan and Yi Zan from Side Peak, the handyman disciples, all discovered the strange phenomenon appearing in the sky of the sect. The three of them instinctively looked up. I saw a huge painting covering the sky and the sun, falling from the sky and covering the entire Divine Sword sect. The giant painting is crystal clear, shining with starlight, and full of auspiciousness. There are countless twinkling stars in it, with colorful mountains, rivers, vegetation, lakes and oceans, as if the whole world is contained in it. This giant painting is exactly the picture of stars in the sky. It is a supreme magic weapon that can not only enhance the Divine Sword Sect's sect protecting formation, but also suppress luck. Chapter 31 At this time, the luck golden dragon hidden in Nishan Peak suddenly opened its dragon eyes. Its small mountain-sized eyes were filled with undisguised heat as it stared at the stars in the sky. It seems that the star chart of the week is full of unparalleled temptation. 
The Lup Golden Dragon pondered for a moment, raised its head and let out a dragon roar. With a shake of its body, it rose into the air and flew around the Divine Sword sect under the Jodian Star Chart. Then a dragon soaring nine heavens got into the Jodian Star Chart. All of a sudden, golden light bloomed in the starry sky, and dragons roared. Looking around, among the star patterns that cover the sky and the sun, a huge golden dragon is swimming freely. At this moment, the 108 side peaks seemed to feel something, and they shook violently. 108 beams of light shot up into the sky at the same time, merging with the 108 shining stars in the star map of the sky. The coercion continuously strengthens the protective sect formation through the light pillar. Whether it is the Jodian star chart or the Lup Golden Dragon, they are all supreme magic weapons that can suppress the long-term prosperity of luck. Now that the two are combined into one, the fate of the Divine Sword sect will surely reach a higher level and will last forever. And with the blessing of the power of the stars, the sect protecting formation is even more impregnable and its power is doubled. After a while, the light from the Jodian star chart dissipated, and the stars dimmed, slowly becoming illusory, and then directly blended into the void above the Divine Sword sect, secretly suppressing the destiny of the Divine Sword sect, and blessing the Protector sect. The Power of the Greater Ray During this period, Yi Jingyan and Yi Zan saw a giant golden dragon suddenly rising from the sky above the sect and flying into the starry sky. They were shocked and dumbfounded. His eyes were as wide as bells, and his mouth was wide enough to fit into his fist. Oh my god, what did they just see? Dragon, a seven-clawed golden dragon that is thousands of miles long, and a scroll that can fit into a whole world. Master is not a human being, he is a god. The two of them were stunned for a long time, and then they suddenly said something in their minds. On Xuanyuan Peak the angry Xuanyuan Qingtian couldn't help but be dumbfounded when she saw the Jodian star map and the Luck Golden Dragon, even with her thousands of years of experience. This Luck Golden Dragon is incredible, isn't it? It's thousands of miles long. During her lifetime, she was lucky enough to see the Luck Golden Dragon in a super sect. That Luck Golden Dragon was 10,000 feet long, huge in size, and extraordinary. But compared with the Luck Golden Dragon of the Divine Sword sect, it was clearly just a newborn dragon cub. Hiss, what a terrifying existence this bad boy was in his last life. He was able to conquer such a powerful golden dragon of luck. I can't even imagine it. While Xuanyuan Qingtian was shocked and murmuring, looking at the thin figure on the heaven-defying peak, his breathing became uncontrollable and became rapid, and there was a little deer jumping happily in his heart. What shocked her the most was that the bad boy unfolded a dreamlike giant painting of heaven and earth with just a wave of his hand. There is no doubt that the giant painting can not only suppress the sect's luck, but also bless the sect's protective formation. It is a supreme magic weapon. Otherwise, the luck golden dragon would not have gotten into it without hesitation, and the 108 side peaks would not have responded at the same time. This handwriting is amazing. Xuanyuan Qingtian now feels more and more that joining the Divine Sword sect as an elder is the wisest decision in his life, and it is also the greatest opportunity. Previously, the ninth grade Holy Lotus gave me a new life, and the Chaos Jade nourished my soul. Later, I had the nine styles of chaos to kill the ninth layer God Thunder Tribulation, plus a Xuanyuan Divine Sword that made people tremble just by the aura it exuded. Nowadays, there are two supreme magic weapons to suppress the sect's fate. Which one of these is not the divine ability? There is no doubt that the bad boy is very capable. And the divine sword sect will surely step onto the altar under his leadership. And she herself can not only practice supreme swordsmanship, but also absorb the sect's luck, quickly recover her cultivation, and gain unexpected great opportunities. It's simply too good. The top of the heaven-defying peak. After Lin Feng arranged the Jodian star map, he took a bird's eye view. In fact, he had never expected that the Luck Golden Dragon and the Celestial Star Chart would be combined into one. But overall it is a good thing, and he naturally has no objection to good things. Lin Feng nodded with satisfaction and returned to the secret training room of the Xuanlong Palace sect master in a flash. Previously, the system couldn't wait to send out a promotion gift package, but except for the weekly star chart, it didn't check a few other things. Lin Feng sat cross-legged on the ground, opened the system's virtual space with his thoughts, and began to look through the introduction of these exercises and martial arts. Chenkin Yiki Fist The overlord of the fist, can shake the mountain and stop the flow, 
break through all kinds of magic with one punch, it is extremely powerful. Meteor Finger absorbs the power of the stars in the sky, refines it into one's own body, condenses it into the fingertips, and points it out like a meteor bombardment. Dragon Elephant Technique The ultimate body training technique can not only temper the muscles, bones and skin, but also strengthen the internal organs and even blood vessels. Refined to the great accomplishment, possessing the power of nine dragons and nine elephants. Nine Meridians Divine Sword The top sword skill is divided into nine styles in total. Each style has unpredictable power and cannot be traced. Once it is refined to the great accomplishment, it can be sacrificed with one sword and the world will be eclipsed. Sky Up 90,000 Miles A god-level movement technique, practiced to the great accomplishment, can ignore time and space, and soar to the ninth layer sky in an instant. After reading the introduction, Lin Feng burst into laughter. Without exception, they are all top-notch techniques. Especially the ability to fly up to 90,000 miles, it's really not that good. Tisk, tisk, with these top-notch martial arts skills, my strength will definitely reach a higher level. Love it, love it. Lin Feng was delighted and murmured to himself. Afterwards, he immediately took out the Bodhi meditation futon, sat cross-legged on it and began to practice. Soon, Lin Feng's body exuded a domineering aura, and the space was shaken by it. Suddenly, he punched out, golden light suddenly appeared, and a golden dragon several feet long roared and tore through the void. The next second, he pointed out again, and there were dazzling stars gathering on the fingertips. He pointed out one by one, like a pop falling to the ground. Immediately afterwards, he formed a sword technique with his left hand, tapped the ring finger of his right hand, and a bit of golden sword energy directly penetrated a huge boulder in the distance. Finally, he spread out his figure, like a giant rock spreading its wings, and instantly appeared at a height of 100 meters, but in an instant he was back to where he was. In an instant, ten days passed quietly. Shuangwang Hall, the secret training room of the sect master. Lin Feng slowly lowered his hands, his fierce and domineering aura restrained. The next second, he slowly opened his eyes, and the solid golden light in his eyes burst out, directly piercing the void in front of him. At this moment, he had different levels of understanding of those martial arts techniques. His combat power has improved qualitatively. At the same time, he also made a gratifying breakthrough in his strength. The ninth level pill forming realm that had always been unable to touch the access control, the access control was actually shaken, and there was only a thin layer of window paper. The spiritual energy in the Sea of Qi has become extremely rich and has a faint tendency to liquefy. At this moment, his temperament was even more elegant. At the same time, during these ten days, Yi Jingyun was still practicing the savage divine fist tirelessly, and his movements also had a sense of naturalness. As for Yi Zan, after practicing the ninth layer sword technique to the bottleneck, he entered the power transfer tower. Inside the power transmission tower, the light is brilliant and the aura is mysterious. On the rows of jade shelves, books on martial arts, martial arts, and various magic weapons are displayed in different categories. The magic weapon exudes colorful light and has a sharp aura. The ancient martial arts and martial arts have a magical aura. Last time, the system was very considerate. Seeing the increase in the number of disciples in the sect, the system directly offered various top-notch martial arts and magic weapons. The martial arts and martial arts are all at the peak acquired level, and the magic weapons are at the lowest level of spiritual weapons. There are even some sect-suppressing secret techniques directly selected by the system from other sects. Even the power transmission tower has been endowed with wisdom by the system. In addition to managing the daily routine of the Kung Fu Tower, it can also select the most suitable Kung Fu, martial arts, and magic weapons to bestow based on the root bone, physique, talent, character, etc. of the incoming disciples. Yi Zan obtained a weapon called Heaven Defying Sword Body Technique in the Power Transmission Tower, which happened to fit his innate sword body. This technique takes a new approach, which is to use the sword to form a sea of chi use the Sea of Qi to swallow 10,000 swords, and use 10,000 swords to nourish the body of the sword, and go around and over again to achieve eternal immortality. This skill, practiced to basic accomplishment, can make you immune to damage from ordinary swords and make thousands of swords surrender. In addition, the Power Transmission Tower also gave several powerful magic weapons based on Yizan's talent. 
Alas, what do you fellow Taoists think of such a virtuous system? After leaving the transfer tower, Yi Zan first went back to the side peak where the handyman disciples belonged, simply packed some daily necessities, and said goodbye to his senior brother Yi Jingyan. Then, he ran to Nishan Peak and outside Shuangwang Palace. He knelt down outside the hall with a plop, kowtowed three times, and said with a respectful expression, Common servant disciple Yi Zan, pay my respects to the sect leader. What's the matter? Lin Feng appeared at the gate of Shuangwang Palace in a flash. He glanced at the cloth bag on Yi Zan's back, frowned slightly, and thought to himself, Is this guy trying to run away and abandoning his job? It belongs to your second uncle. He was given the ninth layer sword technique and the flying immortal sword just a few days ago, and he also obtained the heaven defying sword body technique and several powerful magic weapons in the power transmission tower. Now, he wants to run away with the treasure. This is really unreasonable, he is obviously born to be rebellious. When he thought of this, Lin Feng's eyes flashed with a chill. So what if you have extraordinary talent? What if you have great luck? If your moral character is not good, just kill him with one sword. On second thought, ha, huh, no, the system will never lie to you. Since this guy's loyalty is 100%, he will never run away with the treasure. It seems that there must be other things. Let's hear what he said. Sir, master, this disciple has found that his cultivation has reached a bottleneck, and he can't find any opportunity for a breakthrough for a while, so he wants to go out and practice to find that glimmer of opportunity. I hope your lord will agree. It turned out that I wanted to go out to practice and find opportunities for breakthroughs, but I made a decision. Lin Feng muttered in his heart, and the chill in his eyes quietly passed away. It seems that I really think too much. How can you run away with your treasure if you are 100% loyal? He nodded slightly, this sect leader agreed. We, as cultivators, go against the will of nature. Only by passing the test of life and death, experiencing the various conditions of the world, and developing a heart of steel can we achieve the supreme great Tao. Furthermore, you must remember that I, a disciple of the Divine Sword sect, should act willfully and be clear-cut in black and white. When we see injustice, our roar will tear the sky apart. We must not be submissive and undermine the reputation of our Divine Sword sect. In addition, when you go out for training, you can select some people with good character and talents from the world, and recruit them into our Divine Sword sect to become handy disciples. If you do things well, this sect leader will reward you greatly. Yi Zan's face condensed, his eyes burst with unconcealable joy and excitement, and he said with great respect, Disciple, I will obey the order of the sect master. Oh my god, did the sect leader give him a task from the Yi Zan sect? Isn't this just showing respect for him, Yi Zan? How could he, Yi Zan, live up to the great kindness of the sect leader? At this moment, he suddenly made a decision in his heart. After coming down the mountain, he would immediately go all out to pull up the mountain and raise the banner, strengthen the divine sword sect, and promote the reputation of the sect leader. When he saw an injustice on the road, he roared, and his blood boiled. After respectfully paying homage to the sect master, Yi Zan ran out of the gate of the Divine Sword sect full of passion, ambition and high spirits. Ding! The system sensed that the disciples of the sect were coming down the mountain to practice, and saw the hope of the sect's growth, and took the initiative to offer the disciples a training gift package. Ding! Congratulations on getting Fu Di Mo! Ding! Congratulations on your upgrade from the peak attack of the Dan Formation Realm to the ultimate attack of the Innate Peak. Ding! Congratulations on your upgrade of Chaos Pressure. Quote dot 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 quote. Listening to the cold voice of the system, Lin Feng's lips curled up in surprise. Can sect disciples get big gift packages when they go out for training? Lin Feng had nothing to say except that the system was too sensible. Fu Demo is a god-level puppet magic weapon that can unleash the peak strength of a strong person in the Dan Formation realm. Purpose. Acts on the disciples of the sect. When the disciples of the sect encounter a life or death crisis, the Fudi demon will automatically come to the rescue. After understanding the role of Fu Demo, Lin Feng was quite satisfied. The system is indeed sensible. In this way, he does not have to worry about the dangers encountered by the disciples of the sect. After all, Yi Zan is a person with great luck and an innate sword body, which is very rare. It would be a pity if he died. The level of those who are at the peak of the core formation realm is not just talk. 
As long as you don't encounter those super powerful people, you will have a chance to escape. Activate the brother protecting demon. Lin Feng thought in his mind. Almost at the same time, ripples appeared in the void in front of him, and a transparent figure walked out of the void directly. Go and guard the handyman disciple Yi Zan. Lin Feng said and waved to him. The transparent figure first bowed slightly to Lin Feng, then took a step forward, disappearing into the Xuanwang Hall as if it were so far away, following Yi Zan's breath and hiding in secret. At the same time, thousands of miles away from the Divine Sword sect, a woman with a quiet temperament, peerless appearance, and a holy aura standing proudly in the void. This woman was just standing there, surrounded by auspicious clouds, and the auspicious energy was everywhere. The sun, moon and stars were eclipsed by it, as if she was the only one in the whole world. Especially her pair of green eyes, which are extremely pure. Coupled with her emerald green dress, she is simply the most holy and pure person in the world. Although she didn't exude a majestic aura, she gave people a sense of coercion that they dared not look directly at. It should only be viewed from a distance and not played with. If there is a peerless powerful person present at this time, he will definitely be able to clearly sense that this woman is faintly exuding the aura of the Great Emperor. Great Emperor, just the word, Great Emperor, is an existence that hundreds of millions of people look up to, enough to make countless martial artists worship him and become frightened. The Great Emperor is a powerful person who dominates the world and holds billions of living beings in his hands. With a single thought, mountains and earth can collapse and he can overlook all living beings. The Great Emperor is a being who has touched the power of law. It is extremely terrifying. She raised her eyebrows, and a clear and ethereal voice came out from her moist lips, Sword Sword Sect. That's great. In just one month, it went from dilapidated to full of spiritual energy and prosperous luck. What's hidden in this? While muttering to herself, she looked far away, observing the Divine Sword Sect wrapped in dense aura, and a hint of interest appeared on that peerless face. For a moment, she smiled faintly and stepped out gently. It was such an ordinary action, but it seemed like it was so far away, as if it ignored time and space, leaving only a light and shadow in the void, and then flew towards the Divine Sword Sect. This is clearly a divine ability body technique similar to Sky Up 90,000 Miles. In fact, there was no sound of wind around her, and there were lotuses growing under her feet, which was extremely magical. Such visions are clearly the fairy Lingbo walking in the sky above the nine heavens. In just three steps, the woman in green arrived at the foot of Piamiao Peak. Then, she raised her head and glanced at the divine sword sect on the mountain, with a faint smile on her lips. In the blink of an eye, she hid her figure in the air and walked towards the mountain confidently and boldly. There is no doubt that this concealment technique is a divine ability method. Divine sword sect, at the mountain gate. The mountain gate that contains the laws of Taoism and the Supreme Sword Intention. Is there a dangerous stone tablet inside? It seems that what I expected is true. This Divine Sword sect really has a lot of mysteries. You have successfully aroused the interest of this Empress. The woman in green murmured a few words, rolled her eyes twice, and walked towards the mountain gate with a silly and cute look. Just when the woman in green was about to step into the mountain gate, the black stone tablet suddenly erupted with a turbulent force, sweeping towards the woman. This momentum is extremely domineering, as if it can suppress everything in the world. Wherever it passes, even the space is distorted and broken. Seeing this scene, the woman in green frowned slightly and whispered, What is the origin of this black stone tablet? How can you unleash such a domineering momentum? However, there is no threat to this emperor. Before she finished speaking, she slightly circulated the spiritual energy in the air sea. As the mysterious aura suddenly appeared, a green energy shield appeared on her body. The extremely domineering momentum suddenly lost its target, and finally returned to the stone tablet. The stone tablet sensed that the aura of the woman in green had disappeared, and instantly became unremarkable. The woman in green took a deep look at the ordinary stone tablet, with a hint of surprise in her eyes. If it weren't for this emperor awakening the memory of his previous life and inheriting some strength and divine ability. I'm afraid it will be difficult to escape. This divine sword sect only uses two kinds of treasures as door curtains for a mere mountain gate. It's really generous. The woman in green murmured a few words, then she flashed and broke into the sect protecting formation without any scruples. 
This sect protecting formation is quite good. It is actually a rare heavenly dipper formation. It integrates offense and defense. It can be called a full attribute formation. Even some super sects don't have such a powerful formation. This divine sword sect should not be underestimated. But, in my previous life, I was not only a veritable great emperor, but I also specialized in formations. The most terrifying ancient killing formations are ignored. How can the heavenly dipper formation stop me? As she murmured, the pretty face of the woman in green showed no concealment of confidence and pride. Then she took a step forward and strolled around the sect protecting formation. What's strange is that the all-conquering sect protecting formation didn't react at all, and didn't attack the woman at all, as if it hadn't noticed her. In a moment, the woman in green easily passed through the sect protecting formation and broke into the divine sword sect. At this moment, her exquisite body trembled slightly, her eyes slowly widened, and she exclaimed in her heart, Wow! What a rich spiritual energy! I like it so much! The woman in green could clearly feel that the concentration of spiritual energy in the Divine Sword sect was at least a hundred times stronger than outside. She frowned, could there be a god-level spiritual vein here? Then, the woman in green looked up at the Nishan peak where the aura was the richest. I saw the sky-defying peak towering into the clouds, looming in the dense fairy air, and surrounded by auspicious clouds. Under the colorful light, it was as gorgeous as a dream. There is even the shadow of the holy beast that appears and disappears from time to time. Seeing this scene, the woman in green's wide-open eyes suddenly shot out a bright light, and the excitement on her peerless pretty face could not be concealed. She sensed luck, the majestic and rich luck. In fact, luck can even transform into the phantoms of various holy beasts. Even if she was the great emperor in her previous life, she was only lucky enough to see such a magical sight once. It's true, it's true. No wonder it can change the world in a short period of time. Such great luck is rare in the world. How can the sect not prosper? I just don't know what happened in the Divine Sword sect to be able to have such luck in such a short period of time. Given time, this Divine Sword sect will definitely become a behemoth that is famous in the realm of China. The woman in green murmured in her heart. In her previous life, she was a supreme powerhouse at the great emperor level, dominating the world. Because of an accident, he was reincarnated. Not long ago, she awakened to the memory and inheritance of her previous life. The reason why she traveled thousands of miles to come to the Divine Sword Sect was for one purpose, which was to devour the spiritual energy and luck of the Divine Sword Sect. Now, her strength has only returned to the basic level of true immortal, and she is still thousands of miles away from returning to its peak. She is the rebirth of the great emperor. Naturally, she possesses all kinds of great divine abilities and martial arts skills from her previous life. What she lacks is aura and luck. Because, if you want to reach the great emperor level again, you not only need a massive amount of spiritual energy but also countless luck. Now, if she can swallow the rare luck and massive spiritual energy in the divine sword sect, her strength will definitely return to the peak of the great emperor in a very short period of time. I happily decided that from now on I will hide in the Divine Sword sect and secretly devour luck and spiritual energy. The woman in green murmured in her heart, the territory of the Divine Sword sect is extremely vast. I only need to hide in an inconspicuous corner. Coupled with my divine ability, I should not be discovered by the strong men in the Divine Sword sect. Quote. When she thought of this, she didn't hesitate at all and immediately prepared to find a remote corner. Presumptuous. How dare you break into our divine sword sect? Before the woman in green took action, a cold shout came from a distance. Before he finished speaking, a domineering and sharp aura swept over from a distance. It's broken, it's been discovered. The woman in green frowned slightly, with a trace of surprise in her expression, that shouldn't be the case. Most people can't detect my ability to hide. I'm careless, I'm careless. Forgot to use the talent divine ability. Just when she was about to use her divine ability to hide herself, a woman in a white dress appeared in her field of vision, with a cool face and a transcendent temperament, exuding a domineering aura. Xuanyuan Qingtian was originally comprehending the nine styles of chaos at Qingtian Peak. However, suddenly I felt a vague and unfamiliar atmosphere. This aura is extremely cleverly hidden. If she hadn't been calmly comprehending it, she wouldn't have been disturbed at all, otherwise she wouldn't have been able to detect it. 
Now that we have discovered it, we must safeguard the majesty of the Divine Sword Sect. Now she is an elder of the Divine Sword Sect. Who is coming? Xuan Yuan's autumn-like eyes stared closely at the woman in green, his aura was awe-inspiring, and he looked like Zhu Maoyu was about to take action. The woman in green didn't change her expression. She just glanced at Xuan Yuan Qingtian in front of her. She didn't have any awareness of being caught, and she didn't even have the slightest fear. On the contrary, there was a domineering and indifferent look in her emerald eyes. In her previous life, she was a powerful person in the great emperor realm who controlled the world. She didn't know how many ants she could crush to death with just one finger. Snort, this emperor is the holy heart of Yuan. Ten thousand years ago, the youngest, most beautiful, and most powerful empress was honored as Qinglian Great Emperor by countless martial artists. How dare you jump around even though you are in the human immortal realm? Hurry up and ask your sect leader to come out and see me. I have something important to tell you. The woman in green was domineering and gave a bossy order as if it were natural. You, Qinglian Great Emperor, hearing these words, a strange look appeared on Xuanyuan Qingtian's pretty face. Looking at the woman in green, she looked like she was looking at a silly girl. Three thousand years ago, she was a powerful saint, so she naturally knew about the Qinglian Great Emperor, who was famous in the realm of China. And she is the only female empress, so who knows and who doesn't know? In the eyes of the Great Emperor, a saint-level expert is just a slightly larger ant, which can kill ten or eight with one slap. By chance, she once had the honor to look up at the back of Qinglian Great Emperor's unrivaled splendor. Since then, she has set Qinglian Great Emperor as her lifelong goal. It's a pity that the Qinglian Great Emperor unexpectedly died within a few years. Now, this neurotic woman in front of me dares to claim that she is Qinglian Great Emperor. This is unreasonable, it is simply slandering her idol. Xuanyuan Qing's weather was bad, his face instantly turned livid, and his sharp aura surged. Which is unbearable, this is clearly treating Xuanyuan Qingtian as a fool. Do you really think that she, Xuanyuan Qingtian, is so easy to deceive? After all, she was also a peak saint in her previous life, although now she has just reshaped her physical body and her cultivation has just returned to the human immortal realm. But, saints cannot be bullied. Next, she was going to show this ungrateful woman what it means to be a saint and not be bullied. Oh, you lie without any sense. There's no point in pretending like this. Just because you look so sneaky, do you deserve to be called Qinglian Great Emperor? If you are Qinglian Great Emperor, then I will still be venerable. Xuanyuan Qingtian looked disdainful and said with a cold expression. Her eyes were like knives, like two magical weapons, the extremely sharp edges pointed directly at the woman in green. The domineering and sharp energy exuding from his body has become substantial, and even the surrounding space is distorting, as if it can't bear it and is about to collapse. She clearly sensed that the aura exuded by the woman in front of her was not much different from hers. There is no doubt that the woman in green in front of her is at best a martial artist in the true immortal realm. Can, the other party actually uttered wild words and called himself Qinglian Great Emperor. Qinglian Great Emperor is such a peerless person, how can he be compared to this silly girl in front of him? Don't you really think that she, Xuanyuan Qingtian, is a three-year-old child who can be deceived by just a few words? HMPH, I am the first elder of the Divine Sword Sect. Now I give you one last chance to honestly explain your identity and the purpose of coming to our Divine Sword Sect. Otherwise, I will definitely let you know the consequences of breaking into our Divine Sword Sect without permission. Xuanyuan Qingtian's tone was as cold as ice. As she spoke, she slowly placed her hand on the hilt of an ancient golden sword behind her, and a faint, yet palpitating, terrifying aura emerged. It enveloped the woman in green in silence. This sword is actually the immortal supreme weapon given to her by Lin Feng, the Xuanyuan Divine Sword. Xuanyuan Qingtian was a strong saint who entered Taoism with a sword in his previous life. Not only is her swordsmanship unique, but her understanding of the swordsmanship is also terrifying. In just ten days, she comprehended the first of the nine styles of chaos, the unity of heaven and man. The combination of Xuanyuan Divine Sword and the nine styles of chaos is extremely powerful. So much so that the faintly sharp energy emitted actually caused strange phenomena in the heaven and earth. In the void above the Divine Sword sect, 
the phantoms of various holy beasts flashed frequently, as if they were in awe of the immortal supreme weapon. The woman in green seemed to feel something and said, Ha, huh, your sword is pretty good, at least it's at the level of a holy weapon. I didn't expect that you actually have a sacred weapon in your hands. Although it is not complete, it is a great opportunity for you. No wonder you dare to be disrespectful to this emperor. Yuan Shangxin was very surprised, but he soon regained his composure. He was just a little curious and looked up and down at Xuanyuan Qingtian. In her previous life, she was the great emperor who controlled the whole world. She possessed countless magic weapons, and naturally she had many holy weapons in her hands that others only dreamed of. Mere holy weapons are not worth mentioning in her eyes. Only immortal weapons can enter her eyes. However, she was a little curious. It was a bit unreasonable that this mere mortal in the human immortal realm in front of her actually controlled a sacred weapon. Little girl, this emperor is indeed Qinglian great emperor. This emperor is very generous. I don't want to be acquainted with you, and I don't want to argue with you. I forgive you for not knowing. Hurry up and call your sect master to welcome the arrival of this emperor. Yuan Shengxin's expression made no secret of his unquestionable attitude. The tone is also quite domineering. But he also has a bit of silly and cute innocence. She originally planned to lurk secretly in the Divine Sword sect, looking for an inconspicuous place, and quickly recover her cultivation while devouring the Divine Sword sect's majestic luck and spiritual energy. But who would have thought that before he could implement it, he would be discovered by the elders of the Divine Sword sect. In this case, Yuan's Sacred Heart stopped pretending and directly showed off her cards. She directly revealed her identity as the reincarnation of the Great Emperor. Presumably, the leader of this little Divine Sword sect will be overjoyed and run out to greet him, right? You know, the name of the Great Emperor can intimidate countless martial artists. For a small sect like the Divine Sword sect, it is like a Dinghai Shenzhen. Moreover, the Great Emperor possesses countless treasures and has extremely rich cultivation experience. Just a casual reminder is enough for an ordinary martial artist to use it endlessly in his life. However, she was destined to think too much. What happened next made her question her life a little. Be bold, you are just a little girl. You broke into our divine sword sect trespassing. How dare you call me a little girl? It's so reckless. Xuanyuan Qingtian was immediately furious, and Kashang Saishui's face was suddenly covered with a layer of frost. Who is she? Having lived for thousands of years, he was the peak of a saint at his peak, and the object of worship for countless martial artists. Now, he is called a little girl by a silly girl who broke into the Divine Sword sect without permission. How could she endure this? Saints cannot be bullied. For a moment, her whole body was exuding a strong murderous aura, shrouding her towards the consecrated heart. Those cold eyes were even more murderous. But in Yu Wensheng's mind, she was the great emperor who controlled the world. She was several thousand years older than the other party, so it was reasonable to call her a little girl. However, how did she know that Xuanyuan Qingtian was also the same kind of person as her, and he was also a reincarnation who had lived for thousands of years? Therefore, in the eyes of Xuanyuan Qingtian, who was unaware, calling the little girl a great insult. How can she not be angry? And once a woman gets angry, it is quite scary. It seems that you are ready to pretend to the end. You won't shed tears until you see the coffin, right? Then, just die for me. Xuanyuan Qingtian's tone turned completely cold. After saying that, a majestic momentum suddenly erupted with her as the center, the surrounding space swayed, and a shock wave rushed towards Yuan's sacred heart. Almost at the same time, Xuanyuan Qingtian grabbed the Xuanyuan Divine Sword behind his back, and with the scabbard, struck Yuan's sacred heart head on. Wherever the Xuanyuan Divine Sword passed, the space was directly cut open, and a black seam appeared. Snort, how dare you, a little human immortal, be so arrogant in front of this great emperor. I really mistook this great emperor's good temper for my lack of temper. Today, I, this great emperor, will definitely teach you a lesson for this little girl who doesn't know the bounds of heaven and earth. Yuan Shengxin originally thought that after his identity was revealed, this little girl would be respected as a god. Who would have thought that this little girl not only didn't believe it, but actually got into a fight? This made her furious. My chest hurts. She spread her little hand, and a sapphire-like, palm-sized mirror full of holy aura suddenly appeared in her hand. 
This mirror is simple and unpretentious, with unknown runes engraved on the handle, faintly exuding a rare vitality. As soon as this exquisite mirror appeared, an extremely disturbing feeling appeared inexplicably. Even shadows of holy beasts appeared in the sky above the divine sword sect, kneeling before the ancient mirror. Go, you and sacred heart gave a light drink. Follow your words. In the void, the simple and unpretentious mirror met the Xuanyuan divine sword with a whoosh. When, like gold and iron clashing together, the two were separated at the touch of each other, and each flew back to the hands of its master. For a moment, both of them looked at the magic weapon in their hands in disbelief. They all find it incredible. In the view of Yuan's sacred heart, this precious mirror of his is an extraordinary existence, at least it must be an existence above the sacred artifact. Although she didn't know what level her precious mirror was, thousands of years ago, she used it to destroy countless sacred objects. Who would have thought that today, even a broken sword could not be broken, and it was not damaged at all. This is really unbelievable. Could it be that the sword in this little girl's hand is also a treasure of the same level? In Xuanyuan Qingtian's opinion, the sword in her hand was an incredible treasure given to her by the bad boy. Ten days ago, the terrifying ninth layer thunder tribulation was easily chopped into pieces. She also didn't expect that now she couldn't even smash the other party's broken mirror. There is no doubt that this broken mirror is not simple. It is definitely on the same level as the Xuanyuan Divine Sword. Snort, don't think that just because you have a broken mirror, you can pretend to be the great emperor. Don't even think about confronting me about this. Look at the sword, Xuanyuan Qingtian shouted coldly. Then he grabbed the scabbard tightly with his left hand, grabbed the hilt of the sword with his right hand and slowly pulled it out, and the dazzling golden light spread out instantly. At the same time, a Qingyu sword sound resounded throughout the Piaomiao peak, and the terrifying sharp energy made the surrounding flowers, plants and trees that had opened up their spiritual wisdom tremble. Great horror. Super scary. Yuan's sacred heart clearly sensed it. Her expression changed instantly. Snort, little girl, you don't know what is good or bad. Do you think you can challenge this emperor with a broken sword? How dare you say that the emperor's precious mirror is a broken mirror? I'm going to beat you into a pig's head. Go. Yuan Shengxin groaned angrily. Then, he raised his left hand, and a nine-color ray of light instantly shot into the ancient mirror, fluttering towards Xuanyuan Qingtian. In an instant, the ancient mirror underwent incredible changes. I saw the originally simple and unpretentious ancient mirror, the runes coming out of the handle slowly lit up Kali, the unpretentiousness on the surface disappeared, and it slowly flew out, growing in the wind. Looking up, it is not a mirror at all, but a sky that contains all things. In the mirror, there are all the sun, moon, stars, mountains, rivers, grass and trees, just like a microcosm of the heaven and earth. At this moment, a nine-color ray of light spread out in a trumpet shape, and an extremely holy aura came out overwhelmingly. Wherever the light passed, the space was wiped out, directly revealing the stars in the sky. At this time, the stars in the sky seemed to be summoned, and suddenly the stars glowed. Starlights were sucked directly into the mirror, and the mountains, rivers, and trees were constantly shaking, and all kinds of spiritual energy poured into the mirror crazily. Soon, the mutated mirror erupted with terrifying pressure, accompanied by a vast sea of spiritual energy that suddenly shrouded it from midair. In an instant, this space was directly frozen. At this moment, the curtain-like mirror suddenly erupted with a nine-color light blade, slowly slashing towards Xuanyuan Qingtian's shoulder. Great horror! Absolute horror! Xuanyuan Qingtian's expression became more solemn than ever before, and he suddenly pulled out the Xuanyuan Divine Sword in his hand. Buzz! The entire space was shaken, and the entire world instantly turned dark, and a dazzling golden light shot straight into the sky. The golden sun, golden moon, Golden stars, mountains, rivers and vegetation flashed one by one. The whole world was silent for an instant, as if it had been frozen directly. There was only that dazzling golden light, slowly flying towards the slowly falling nine-color light blade. At this moment, they ignored time and space. At this moment, all negative energy was wiped out in front of them. At this moment, there was only that golden light and the nine-color light blade in the whole world. In silence. The golden light and the nine-color light blade perished at the same time, and the two silent rays of light turned into apertures and vibrated out. Everything in its path turned into nothingness. 
At the same time, the dark night turned into a bright sun. However, Xuan Yuan Qingtian and Yuan Sacred Heart were holding their own magic weapons respectively, with expressions of shock on their faces as they stared at each other closely. It's like two tigresses confronting each other. However, Xuan Yuan Qingtian's face was obviously a bit pale, while Yuan Sacred Heart's face remained as usual. There is no doubt that the former is slightly weaker. After all, there are two realms of suppression. Ah, I didn't expect you, a little girl, to be quite capable. But now you don't have the spirit either. HMPH, let's see how I beat you into a pig's head. Yuan Sacred Heart rushed towards Xuan Yuan Qingtian, raised his simple mirror and shouted. Snort, just because you're such a stupid girl. See if I don't beat you into a bear. Xuan Yuan Qingtian faced each other tit for tat, raised the Xuan Yuan Divine Sword and rushed over. They are all women, who is afraid of whom? Dang dang dang. The sound of gold and iron clashing continued, and the two of them did not use any spiritual energy, and just relied on their strength to fight until the sky was dark. Originally, the difference in strength between the two was not very big, and they were both reincarnated as strong men, and they both consumed a lot of spiritual energy. Therefore, for a while, neither of them could do anything about the other, and they were simply matched against each other. At the same time, he kept scolding. You are so shameless little girl, how can you catch my little rabbit? Did it provoke you? Quote dot 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 quote. Bah, you are the little girl, you are the shameless one. Who cares about your little bunny? If you hadn't stolen my big fairy peach, would I have caught your little rabbit? HMPH, my elder's little rabbit is much cuter than yours, fat and well behaved. Quote dot 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 quote. You, see if I don't tear your stinky mouth off. Snort, who's afraid of whom? On Nishan Peak, Xuan Wang Hall. Lin Feng, who was practicing in the sect master's secret training room, suddenly noticed the aura of Xuan Yuan Divine Sword, as well as another terrifying aura that made his heart palpitate. What's going on? Even the Xuan Yuan Divine Sword was used. Aren't you going to turn things upside down? Lin Feng frowned and murmured. He immediately released his spiritual consciousness, covering the entire Shenjian sect. He saw two figures fighting each other. Lin Feng took a deep breath in that fierce scene. Tisk, tisk, someone broke into the Divine Sword sect again, and sneaked in quietly. Are they fighting with Xuan Yuan Qingtian? Lin Feng was slightly surprised. He focused his eyes on the woman in green and looked at her carefully. Ha, huh, still a woman. The sect protecting formation is not weak to begin with, and now with the blessing of the Jodian star chart, its power is even more extraordinary. The sacred monument at the mountain gate is also very powerful. This woman can actually ignore the power of both of them. Her strength must be extraordinary. Moreover, although she did not use her spiritual energy or martial arts, her natural attack directly suppressed Xuan Yuan Qingtian. Even the mirror in her hand can actually compete with the immortal supreme Xuan Yuan Divine Sword. That's interesting. This sect leader would like to see who you are. Lin Feng murmured and activated the Tianji technique. A golden light flashed in his eyes, and a piece of information quickly appeared in front of him. Name, Yuan Sacred Heart. Age, 16 years old. Realm, True Immortal Realm Beginner Level. Talent, Ignore the laws of space and time, control the laws of time and space. Physique, The Great Emperor was reincarnated into a chaotic yin spirit body. Loyalty, 0%. Ignore space and time. The Great Emperor is reborn. Chaos Yin Spirit Body. After reading Yuan Sacred Heart's message, Lin Feng couldn't help but click his tongue. This time he was really shocked. Good guy. Straight up good guy. The Great Emperor is the most powerful person who stands on the Nine Heavens, controls the lives of countless creatures, and controls a whole world. With a wave of his hand, he could move mountains and seas, shatter the void, and create a terrifying existence. Just a hint of aura they exude inadvertently can directly crush ordinary martial artists into nothingness. There is no other reason, just because the powerful great emperor has had his first glimpse of the laws of heaven and earth. Lin Feng also didn't expect that the Divine Sword sect would have a proud daughter who was the reincarnation of the great emperor. Moreover, this proud daughter of heaven who was reincarnated by the great emperor also possesses a chaotic yin spirit body. 
After the Chaos Yin spirit body awakens, it can not only automatically swallow all spiritual energy for its own use, but also directly mobilize the spiritual energy of heaven and earth within a certain range and various spiritual beasts, demonic beasts and holy beasts to attack the enemy at critical moments. In other words, the spiritual energy is inexhaustible unless the spiritual energy of the whole world is exhausted. What's even more terrifying is that this beautiful lady of heaven can actually ignore the laws of time and space, as well as control the laws of time and space. This is such a good guy. The monster is beyond measure. In shock, Lin Feng noticed the luck value of Yuan's sacred heart. A full 120,000. 20,000, Lin Feng was shocked again. Yi Zan is the lucky son of an old man with a white beard who carries him with him, and his luck value is only 20,000. The Yuan Sacred Heart in front of him was six times that of Yi Zan, reaching a terrifying 120,000. How terrifying! This kind of talent, this kind of physique, this kind of luck, one day he will definitely be a venerable level of amazing power. He could clearly see the nine color destiny flame that was so rich that it was almost in a liquid state above the head of Yuan's Sacred Heart. If the predictions are correct, this should be the combination of the Jodian Star Chart and the Luck Golden Dragon into one which has brought the luck of our divine sword sect to a higher level, thus leading to such a heaven-defying luck, son. Lin Feng murmured in his heart. On the other side, outside the sect protecting formation, Xuanyuan Qingtian became more and more frightened as he fought, his face turned pale, and dots of fragrant sweat oozed from his forehead. Where did this woman in green come from? How could she be so powerful? She was shocked. During this period of fighting, Xuanyuan Qingtian had already used all his methods, used all his strength, and even used some tricks to defeat the enemy. But they were all resolved calmly. She was extremely aggrieved and felt very powerless at the same time. Suddenly, a lightning-like attack struck her face to face. Xuanyuan Qingtian's expression suddenly changed, he quickly dodged and took action to resolve it. But the opponent's attacks are like maggots attached to the bones, unable to be resolved and appearing everywhere. Just before she saw it, the attack was about to hit her heart. Who is so bold? Not only are you being arrogant in our divine sword sect, but you are also hurting my chief elder. A majestic and domineering voice suddenly swept from the top of Nishan Peak. The sound waves rolled like thunder, directly shaking the entire Shenjian sect to a buzzing sound. At the same time, a monstrous pressure fell like thunder. The whole space was condensed. Even the attack of Yuan's Sacred Heart was frozen, and then shattered by the sound wave that followed. This, this is the bad sect leader, his unique aura and coercion. Xuanyuan Qingtian looked happy and murmured. She had no way to deal with the previous attack and was preparing to bear the insult. Fortunately, at this critical moment, the bad sect leader arrived in time. This, the master of the Divine Sword Sect. Yuan Shengxin narrowed his eyes slightly, and the gleam of light was instantly locked on Lin Feng. In her previous life, she had seen people with extraordinary talents like Crucian Carp crossing the river. But there has never been such a heaven-defying existence. It's incredible, she never expected that the leader of the Divine Sword sect would be so young, let alone that he would be so powerful. With just a voice and coercion, his attack was instantly wiped out. At this moment, there was a trace of fear deep in her eyes that could not be concealed. If she had the strength at her peak, how could she take it seriously? A single sneeze would make her disappear. But now, her strength has not been restored, and she is only at the beginning of the true immortal realm. Facing the mysterious and powerful leader of the Divine Sword sect, she had to be wary. In an instant, a man with a slim figure but as tall as a javelin, wearing a tight-fitting white robe, and an extraordinary imposing manner appeared in the sight of Xuanyuan Qingtian and Yuan Shangxin. The person who came was none other than Lin Feng. At this time, Lin Feng was exuding a domineering aura. The golden light around him shines like a domineering Dao monarch king descending from the nine heavens, with his eyes exuding domineering contempt for the world. Even the void above the entire divine sword sect flashed with golden light, as if welcoming the king. At this moment, the sky and the earth were eclipsed, and the sun and moon seemed to be dimmed. This is exactly the upgraded version of chaos pressure. Lin Feng didn't hold back at all and directly raised the coercion value to the highest level. Otherwise, how could he, an eighth-level incarnation state, be able to suppress a powerful person in the true immortal state? 
not to mention the attack that shattered her with just one sound. Is this the true strength of the bad sect leader? Isn't this too scary? After Xuanyuan Qingtian felt the coercion emanating from Lin Feng, he couldn't help but feel his heart tremble, and an uncontrollable desire to surrender arose in his heart. Not far away, Yuan's sacred heart was staring at Lin Feng closely, not daring to be careless at all. The aura exuded by Lin Feng made her feel the slightest threat. No wonder the little divine sword sect can have such momentum, such luck, and such aura. Presumably, it was the young master of the divine sword sect in front of me who did this. You and sacred heart thought so. But then I thought about it. Even so, so what? She is the reincarnation of the mighty great emperor. Awakened some of the memories of the previous life and gained a lot of inheritance. She admitted that the leader of the divine sword sect was indeed powerful. But, so what? Even if you can't beat him, running away won't happen in an instant. Who in this world can stop her? At this time, Lin Feng suddenly glanced at Yuan's sacred heart not far away, and the corners of his mouth curled up. How could Lin Feng let this son of unlucky fortune come to his door? It must be collected. Yuan Shengxin waved her small hand, and the mirror suspended in the air appeared in her hand out of thin air. The rich spiritual energy gathered towards her like a vortex, and the aura around her body surged. Her little head was raised slightly, her dark green eyes were filled with arrogance, and her pretty face showed a strong confidence. Are you the leader of the Divine Sword Sect? I am Qinglian Great Emperor Yuan Sacred Heart. This emperor has taken a fancy to this place, so he decided to give you an opportunity to become my registered disciple in the future. If I have enough time, I will personally guide you in your cultivation, so that you will have unlimited future. Yuan Shengxin said very domineeringly. According to what she thought, she had already directly revealed her identity. In the name of the majestic great emperor, it is a great honor for the sect leader to accept the master of the divine sword sect as his registered disciple. He will definitely be grateful to her and kneel down to lick her directly. After all, many talented disciples have no chance to kowtow. And she can legitimately stay in the divine sword sect, openly devour the divine sword sect's luck and aura, and restore her cultivation. Accept me as a registered disciple. Give me a chance. Hearing this, Lin Feng laughed directly. He looked at the beautiful girl in front of him who was a little confused about priorities, you are a guest from afar. As the master of the Divine Sword Sect, I will also give you an opportunity to become a handyman disciple of my Divine Sword Sect. How about it? Lin Feng smiled. What did you say? You want me to be a handyman disciple? Hearing this, Yuan Shengxin's eyes widened and his mouth opened slightly, looking in disbelief. She subconsciously rubbed the base of her ears, thinking there was something wrong with her ears. God, what did she just hear? The leader of the Divine Sword Sect wants to accept her as a disciple. The most important thing is that he is still the lowest status handyman disciple in the sect. How dare you think about it? Originally, she wanted to accept the master of the Divine Sword Sect as a registered disciple. Unexpectedly, the other party wanted to accept her as a handyman disciple. Do you want to be so unconventional? Yu Wensheng's heart was so angry that his lungs were about to explode, and his chest could not stop rising and falling violently, as if a small volcano that had been deposited for many years was rapidly condensing and was about to explode at any time. She recruits a registered disciple in the name of the Great Emperor. What an honor it is for the other party. Shouldn't the brat in front of her accept it with joy? She couldn't even figure out why the other party refused without hesitation, and even went against the grain to accept her as a handyman disciple. This is clearly insulting. That's too much. In an instant, Yuan Sacred Heart's whole body was filled with a terrifying icy aura, and murderous intent burst out in his eyes. The spiritual energy that gathered quickly has also become liquid. Great Emperor, cannot be humiliated, he <laughs> he, enough arrogance. Aren't you afraid that the wind will flash your tongue? How dare you accept me, you and Sacred Heart, as a handyman disciple? I really don't know who gave you such courage. Yu Wensheng was so angry that he was angry with the sky and the earth. Then who gave you the courage to accept me as a registered disciple? Liang XX. Lin Fengfeng Qingyun looked at Yu and Sacred Heart and said calmly, You can accept me, but I can't accept you. Or do you already love me so much that you can't help yourself? That's right, after all, love really requires courage. Lin Feng whipped out a lyric. You, shut up. 
The devil loves you. Did you know that I am a chaotic yin spirit body? You and sacred heart roared directly. Lin Feng nodded slightly and said, I know, what's wrong? You and Shengxin asked again, Do you know that I am still the reincarnation of the great emperor? Lin Feng nodded again and said, I know, so what? You and sacred heart asked for the third time, Did you know that I have the natural talent to manipulate time and space? Once I regain my strength, I can kill people instantly from thousands of miles away. Lin Feng nodded for the third time and said, I know, what's wrong? Yu Wen Shengxin was about to vomit blood, and his breath was disordered and he said, Then why do you think you are qualified to let the reincarnation of my great emperor become your disciple? Qualified. Very qualified. Lin Feng said calmly. Quote dot 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 quote. Yu Wen Shengxin was so angry that his teeth chattered. Lin Feng was calm and calm. Xuanyuan Qingtian on the side was dumbfounded. She stared at Yuan's sacred heart in a daze, and her originally crystal clear and pretty face lost its color, revealing unconcealable shock and horror. Even my breathing became heavy and my heartbeat became abnormal. At this moment, her heart was already in turmoil. Holy shit, as this, could it be, that she is really the reincarnation of the famous Qinglian Great Emperor? What stupid thing did I do before? You actually called the great emperor a stupid girl, and then directly went to fight to catch the great emperor's little rabbit. Did I do this? Xuanyuan Qingtian stood there blankly recalling what he had done. For a moment, my mind went blank. He is a powerful great emperor. She must have been kicked in the head by a donkey. Are you really sure that you want me, you and Sacred Heart, to join your divine sword sect and become a handyman disciple? You and Sacred Heart calmed down and asked in a very calm tone. At the same time, there was a touch of disdain in her eyes when she looked at Lin Feng. It seems that the decision made by Lin Feng was an extremely stupid thing. Definitely and definitely, Lin Feng nodded without hesitation. Only a fool would refuse to accept someone like Yu Wen Shengxin, who was reincarnated as the great emperor, with incredible luck, talent, and physique. Okay, I promise you. After saying that, Yu and Shengxin paused and glanced at Lin Feng with disdain, I just don't know if you can bear it. Hee <laughs> hee, you must know that she is the reincarnation of the great emperor, and she has a chaotic yin spirit body. She has the talent divine ability to manipulate the laws of time and space, and she is also a girl of good luck with adverse weather luck. How dare ordinary sects accept it? If she joins an unworthy sect, that sect will definitely suffer terrible fate backlash. Moreover, the sect will also be punished by the power of heaven and earth. Because no sect is qualified to have a great emperor as a handyman disciple. The great emperor is an existence that has mastered a trace of the laws of heaven and earth. On the other hand, it represents the will of heaven and earth. The great emperor became a handyman disciple, which was a direct slap in the face of the will of heaven and earth. How can heaven and earth tolerate it? Yu and Shengxin originally thought that the leader of the Divine Sword sect was an old monster with unrivaled strength. Who would have thought that a stupid young man with a tough head would force her to join the Divine Sword sect as a handyman disciple? If that's the case, then it's no wonder she is. How could a mere Divine Sword sect be qualified to accept the Great Emperor as a disciple? Not to mention a handyman disciple. When the time comes, the leader of the Divine Sword sect will not be able to escape the bitter consequences of fate, and will also be crushed to ashes by the power of heaven and earth. And she can safely and boldly swallow the luck and spiritual energy of the Divine Sword sect. Not too good at all. It's not the Emperor's plan, but his own fault. Don't worry if you can bear it or not, just join our Divine Sword sect. Lin Feng's face remained as usual and his tone was calm as he said. Xuanyuan Qingtian on the side could not help but become nervous. Regarding the backlash of luck, she knew that it was not illusory, but a real thing. You must know that this is the reincarnation of the Great Emperor, and it also has all kinds of defying abilities. Can the Divine Sword sect withstand the terrible backlash of fate? She felt very uneasy. But then I thought about the thousands-mile-long Golden Dragon of Luck and the Jodian Star Chart on Nishan Peak, and my originally uneasy heart gradually calmed down. At this moment, you and Sacred Heart on the side suddenly glanced at Lin Feng meaningfully and said, Heaven and Earth share the same lesson. I, you and Sacred Heart, today I join the Divine Sword sect and become a handyman disciple. Every word is strong and powerful. As the last word falls, 
The heaven and earth seemed to feel something, and there was a sudden thunder, and the terrifying pressure of heaven and earth suddenly came down. For a moment, the entire Shenjian sect was filled with wind and clouds in the air, roaring in all directions, and black clouds pressing overhead. Even the scorching sun dimmed. The majestic and unparalleled power spread rapidly in the space, like mercury pouring down the ground, as if it was about to crush the entire divine sword sect into ashes. This overwhelming power of terror made Xuanyuan Qingtian instantly shaken, his hair standing on end, and cold sweat pouring down his face. On the 108 side peaks of Shenjian sect, those creatures with spiritual intelligence were all trembling, and they instantly felt that the end of the world was coming. The invisible power of heaven and earth continues to condense in the void, like a wild beast, gradually waking up in the dark clouds. Extremely scary, Lin Feng narrowed his eyes slightly, raised his head and squinted at the powerful celestial phenomenon in the void. His expression was as calm as ever, and his body was as tall and straight as a benchmark. No one knew what he was thinking. On the side of Yuan's sacred heart, seeing the power of heaven and earth gathering rapidly, his little face showed unabashed pride. This is her confidence. The reincarnation of the mighty great emperor is a waste of fame. The powerful great emperor represents some of the will of heaven and earth and is recognized by the laws of heaven and earth. Going against the grain is tantamount to seeking death. At this time, she bowed slightly in Lin Feng's direction and said, Common servant Yuan Shengxin, pay your respects to the sect master. I just finished saying this. Rumble. A thunderous thunder exploded in the void, making people's hearts skip a beat and their ears buzzing. Brilliant heavenly power followed and came overwhelmingly. The pressure of heaven and earth then became more terrifying. Even many towering trees on the Shenjian sect's peak were crushed. At the same time, a figure ten feet tall suddenly appeared in the void behind Yuan's sacred heart. It is her outer body. It is also the terrifying part of the chaotic yin spirit body. Not only does it have combat power that is no less than the original body, but it also possesses the innate divine ability. As soon as the Dharma body appeared, thick fog emerged around her, and a vast and holy aura spread rapidly in all directions. From this moment on, all beasts roared together, and the entire divine sword sect was covered by waves of sound. In the distance, Shadows swished out from the mountain peaks, roaring towards Lin Feng. If it weren't for the pressure of heaven and earth, they would have rushed down the mountain to besiege Lin Feng. Even the shadow of a holy beast appeared in the sky, glaring angrily at Lin Feng, and its terrifying aura directly locked onto Lin Feng. At this time, above the head of Yuan's sacred heart, the dense purple aura was extremely dense. Mysterious and noble. This dense purple energy is exactly the terrifying luck possessed by Yuan's Sacred Heart. Not everyone can bear the bow of the Great Emperor, unless it is a venerable whose virtue and strength exceed that of the Great Emperor realm. Otherwise, it will inevitably lead to the backlash of luck. The consequences are quite dire. At this time, the corners of Yuan Shengxin's mouth raised slightly, and he glanced at Lin Feng indifferently, the meaning of ridicule was self-evident. In fact, the image of Lin Feng being crushed into ashes appeared in her mind. At this time, Xuanyuan Qingtian on the side saw that just a slight bow to the holy heart of Yuan caused a strange phenomenon in the heaven and earth, all the beasts roared together, and even the outer Dharma body and the terrifying purple energy of luck appeared. Completely dumbfounded, she looked at the ten-foot-high Dharma body outside her body that exuded a strong holy aura and exuded terrifying coercion in the void. Her breathing became unsmooth, and she had an uncontrollable urge to worship in her heart. How, how is this possible? She is really the great emperor of Qinglian. Thousands of years ago, the Qinglian great emperor relied on the outer body of this chaotic yin spirit body to dominate the contemporary era, with great majesty and unparalleled splendor. Oh my god, I, I actually threatened to kill her before. Am I crazy? Xuanyuan Qingtian was confused and confused. The moment she saw the Dharma body outside her body, the last trace of doubt in her heart disappeared. The woman in green in front of her was the real Qinglian Great Emperor. After confirming this fact, she couldn't help but worry. Broken. Although the bad sect leader is very mysterious and powerful, this Qinglian Great Emperor is no ordinary person. What he needs to face is the will of heaven and earth. Can he withstand it? A trace of deep worry appeared directly on her crystal clear little face. At this moment, the coercion of the power of heaven and earth brewing in the sky descended like thunder. 
an invisible force of terror crashed directly towards Lin Feng. It seemed as if he was going to crush Lin Feng into ashes alive. That invisible and terrifying force wiped out everything in its path, and the void could not withstand the collapse. Really invincible. No matter how strong you are, you will be wiped out in the face of this irresistible power of heaven and earth. Ding. The system senses that the owner is in danger, and the system is furious. The system is very angry, and the consequences will be serious. Ding. The system automatically turns on the monument guardian mode. Just when Lin Feng felt like he was about to be crushed by the power of heaven and earth, the cold voice of the system suddenly sounded in his mind. Lin Feng's body, which had been holding up so hard, instantly relaxed. He really didn't expect that recruiting a reincarnated disciple of the great emperor would have such terrible consequences. This was the second time besides Xuanyuan Divine Sword that he felt that his life was not under his control. It was such a terrible feeling. Previously, he was able to cut thunder with his sword, but the system only rewarded him with a heaven man unity slash. If he were forced to resist the ninth layer thunder tribulation, his soul would be shattered in a matter of minutes and there would still be no scum left. The current power of heaven and earth is more terrifying than the ninth layer thunder tribulation. Horrible. How terrible. It seems that I cannot underestimate the people of the world, let alone casually confront the power of heaven and earth. Is this the power of the great emperor? Fortunately, I have a very sensible system and proactively turned on the monument guardian mode at critical moments. Otherwise, it will be over for today. Lin Feng murmured with some lingering fear. Xuanyuan Qingtian on the side saw the majestic power of heaven and earth crushing the bad sect master, and her whole heart suddenly lifted. A trace of hesitation suddenly appeared on her pretty face. Soon, she bit her teeth, a look of determination burst into her eyes, and she began to activate the divine ability, a talent she had never used before. A power that made gods and ghosts tremble was rapidly reviving. A suffocating momentum of terror began to brew. This is her biggest trump card. Once used, all the energy in the body will be released in an instant, attacking with dozens of times the power. Either the enemy dies or oneself dies. Moreover, she will also suffer terrible backlash, and the body that has just been reshaped now will most likely collapse directly. However, as the chief elder of the Divine Sword sect, how could she remain indifferent when she saw that her sect leader's life was hanging by a thread? Moreover, although the sect leader was a bit bad, he had nothing to say to her. First, he was given the Chaos Jewel and the ninth grade Yin Yang Holy Lotus to reshape his body. Later, she was given Xuanyuan Peak, and the training resources were distributed by herself. Sword Cut Thunder saved her life, and she was given the Nine Styles of Chaos and the Xuanyuan Divine Sword. This kind of kindness is higher than the sky and deeper than the sea. She had nothing to repay, so how could she not save him? Now is the time for her to step forward without hesitation. For the sake of destroying the sect leader, even if she returns to the state of remnant soul, so what? She must protect the bad sect leader with all her strength. However, just when the forbidden power in her body had not fully awakened, a scene suddenly appeared in front of her eyes, which stunned her. I saw the black stone tablet at the mountain gate in the distance, and the light surge without any warning. As a heart-stopping aura suddenly appeared, the black stone tablet suddenly erupted into a majestic black mist. The black mist was truly unbelievably terrifying, as if it could swallow everything in the world, and even the light dimmed in an instant. Wherever it spreads, everything becomes transparent. Buzz. At this moment, a low roar suddenly came from the black stone tablet, roaring as if it was angered by something. The next second, the black mist had broken through the air and reached Lin Feng's side, forming a black mist shield around him, directly protecting him. At the same time, the remaining black mist rose directly into the sky, resisting the invisible power of heaven and earth like a rainbow. In the void, the black mist and the invisible power of heaven and earth were directly in a stalemate. After a while, the black mist became more powerful and turned into a mouth a hundred feet wide. With a sudden breath, the invisible power of heaven and earth was swallowed up. Then, the black mist penetrated into the black stone tablet, and the terrifying power brewing between heaven and earth disappeared, leaving no trace of coercion. If you look closely at the black stone tablet that has swallowed up the power of heaven and earth, you will definitely find that it exudes a vague and vague aura. At this time, you and Sacred Heart, 
after seeing the great power of the black stone tablet, could not help but stir up a storm in her heart despite her profound knowledge. My dear, what kind of amazing treasure is this? Can he swallow the power of heaven and earth without any pressure? Why is this just like an illusion? She couldn't help rubbing the corners of her eyes and blinking her big eyes. Xuanyuan Qingtian on the side suppressed the taboo power that had awakened in his body as soon as he regained consciousness. At the same time, her breathing became more rapid, and her rapid breathing even caused her chest to rise and fall violently. Oh my god, why is this bad sect master so defiant? What kind of monster is he? A black stone tablet he casually placed at the mountain gate has such unpredictable power. How many heaven-defying treasures does the bad sect leader have? I don't dare to think about it anymore, I don't dare to think about it anymore. Once again, she was completely shocked by the methods used by the bad sect leader. She was so stupid and stared at the bad sect leader with an undisguised brilliance in her eyes. What kind of evildoer is this little sect leader of the Divine Sword sect? The background is so terrifying. I hope everyone will support it and subscribe more.